Well, hey everybody, it's Josh with Resort TV One, and I am live here at the Magic Kingdom for a magical Christmas evening here in the park with rides, decorations, and more. So welcome to the stream, everybody. We hope that you will join us for lots of fun. So thank you for spending your evening with us. Please subscribe if you're new. Hit the notification bell to be notified every time we go live or have a new video. And follow us on social media. We're going to ride the It closes in a few minutes, and it just showed up. So accelerate a little bit more the beginning of the stream. But... We got this. All right, so here we go. This works. So hi, Dan. Hi, Amy. Hello, Brad. Hi, Dave and Chris. Hello. Yeah, the Christmas tree is great. Hi, Ashley. Hi, Susan. Hi, Noel. Hello, Amy. Bay Lake Bay, especially Leslie, Vicky, Dan, and Jay, Dave, Stephen. Hit the like button, guys, and enjoy. <clears throat> and before the train gets underway, we do have our platinum members that we want to thank. These are people that have pledged $50 a month to help support the channel. We really appreciate them. It's Jax Paro, Amy Moore, Go Manny, James Hahn, Maker Emily, Ali Verismo, and Alan J. Thank you to all of you. And thank you to everybody for being here. And a big thank you to all of our channel members, Bronze, Silver, Gold, and Platinum. We appreciate all of you. And we appreciate all of you for being here as well. Thanks for being here, hitting the like button, and enjoying. Uh, Jeremy777 sent $4.99. Hello, Josh and Jenna. What a perfect night to be out. Josh, what sort of things in general besides the train would you like to do? Um, probably just as many rides as we can do. Strolling up, up and down Main Street. Enjoying decorations, of course, happily ever after, and much more. We'll see what else we can do. All right, here we go. Hey, Candace. Hey, Allie. So I'll let you just enjoy the train ride. Para su seguridad, permanezca sentado y mantenga las manos, brazos, pies y piernas dentro del tren y cuide a los pequeños. Gracias. Friends, I'm so delighted you've joined us today. And just a friendly reminder to keep all hands, arms, feet, and legs completely inside the train while the train is in motion. Thank you. Hearts, dreams really do come true. See, there was a time not so long ago that I was just a young fella on Main Street with a balloon in my hand and a wish in my heart that someday I'd be the conductor of this train. And wouldn't you know it, with a bit of gumption and a dash of magic, here I am. So believe it when I say that around here, anything is possible. Runaway trains, and you'll see why. On 
a more useful note. Just ahead, I heard some new critters are moving in, and we'll be the make a splash. Take a listen. We're almost there. We've reached Frontierland Station, and once so sit tight, and all those horses are going to come to a complete stop. Each is in that. All right, that's pretty cool. Look at that artwork on the building over there looks really nice. I hadn't seen that before. Really nice. All right, so we have a uh, super chatting to PayPal. So let me get those. Uh, Chantel Van Leer sent a 199 super chat. Thank you, Chantel. Appreciate that very much. Very generous PayPal from Jeff. Uh, Jeff Smith sent fifty dollars on PayPal. What a night! Of David Tennant back as Doctor Who in that resort TV one. Thanks, Jeff. He's very, very kind. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You like him? Random lag. It's working. I just jumped to a point. There we go, guys. I got it back. Say it one more time. Yeah, I just had to airplane mode for a second. Say it one more time here. I'm sure it worked, but Chantel Van Leer sent 199 super chat. Thank you, Chantel. And Jeff. Oh, it looks like this is still a little weird right now. And Jeff Smith sent $50 on PayPal. Thank you so much, Jeff. Appreciate it. And yes, everybody's asking if I'm on, on my own, but yes, I am. If we have people with us, I'll introduce them at the beginning, usually. So, yep, I'm by myself. Well, I'd be grateful you're streaming. Yeah, it's my pleasure. Yeah, I better change. This apparently is not working. Hmm. Yeah, let's just keep it here for now. We'll see what happens. Keep it here and not mess with it. Let me see if I can look at the artwork over here. Like we're good now. Okay, there we go. It found it found the better signal. Now you know I started before six, but that's why you want to have your notifications. Oh good, Deets, I'm, oh, there it goes again. Oh, it jumped to a bad one again, hold on. Yeah, I guess it's tower bounce because I, I have a good signal and then it bounces me to a bad tower, so that's just the network being dumb. <laughs> <clears throat> they got to figure out a way to fix that. All right, we're good now. So look forward to all your streams. You do an amazing job. Thanks, Tina. Hey, Ginger. All right. 
Yeah, maybe it'll prove when we're out of the station. Yeah, we must be on the edge of the park where it's picking up a tower from outside and it's also picking up the inside the park tower and it can't figure out what it wants to do. Tigger's here, yeah. Now nah, it's better now, I just switched to AT&T. Seems to be stronger right now. Here we go. So many towers, so many little time, that's right. Two towers fighting for your phone. Yes. I can see it switching in the icon too, it's so funny. Power issues just tried to turn on under cabinet lights the whole thing. Oh yeah, you, you must have blown a blown a circuit breaker there, David. <coughs> All right. Here we go. I remember seeing you reach 50,000 subscribers and it's been great watching the Resort TV One channel grow. Thanks, Deets. Yeah, <clears throat> it's uh, been a wild ride for sure. Mr. Toad's wild ride. Here we go for real. Howdy, folks. If you're just joining us, a hearty welcome aboard. We're heading for our next stop, Fantasyland before carrying on to Main Street, USA. Everybody stay seated and keep your hands and arms, feet and legs safely inside the train. And as always, keep an eye on your little ones. Para su seguridad, permanezca sentado y mantenga las manos, brazos, pies y piernas dentro del tren. Y cuide a los pequeños. Gracias. Those of you who've been riding with me for a spell already know how much I love minding this railroad. But for those times I'm fixing for something a bit wilder, Big Thunder Mountain is the place. Because then the trains have a mind of their own. Wonderland, isn't it something? Just think of the extraordinary things to see and do in these woods. Hiking trails, bird calls, fireflies, and starry nights. Setting out for adventure at sunrise, and telling the tale around a campfire that night. Considering how wonderful things are out here, I'm fortunate that some of my closest friends call it home. That village is a truly special place. We're just about out of the woods and into the forest. The enchanted forest of Fantasyland, where magic... Listen. Hear that? There it is! On that big metal snake. enchanted and not just the forest from the tips of castle spires to the sands under the sea magic and happily ever afters await around every corner in fantasy land welcome aboard friends travelers children of all ages we're coming down the track and headed straight for the stupendous the sensational the spectacularific 
Fantasyland Storybook Circus. This is the place to soar with Dumbo or join Goofy in his stunt plane for some airborne acrobatics. This station is also the gateway to the rest of Fantasyland and Tomorrowland. Now, please wait until the train has come to a complete stop. Gather your juggling pins, unicycles, and other belongings, and carry your strollers away from the platform before unfolding them. That way, we can start loading up for the next leg of our trip. For those disembarking, please watch your step, and thanks for traveling with us. I hope you join us again real soon. If you're staying aboard, our next stop is Main Street Station. As we approach the station, please remain fully seated and completely inside the train until the train comes to a full and complete stop. You hear a single whistle and the words all clear. Until you hear that, please remain fully seated and completely inside the train. We're almost there, friends. Wait for it. That is the all clear. It is now safe for you to disembark. Please gather all your belongings. Watch your head step. Welcome to Fantasyland Station with the walkway to Tomorrowland. We're gonna ride the. We're gonna ride the whole way, all the way to Main Street. This will be one of the last trains in and out of Main Street. So it's dark in here or on here, but it's still really fun to ride it at night. It's just kind of beautiful, especially going like that. You really do feel like you're out in the set on the narration. Oop! There goes the lag. There we go. We'll just do that. Yeah, bop the like, everybody. It is weird. All right, we'll keep going. We'll just turn it down a little bit. My, um, our app is different than a lot of the others. It doesn't automatically adjust the bit rate because sometimes that doesn't work well, so I have to watch it and adjust it myself. But we're good now. <clears throat> it's just a low signal area. It was on 5G earlier, but down to a LTE. I have no idea what it's doing. I use my neighbor's Wi-Fi. There you go. I guess. Oh. Okay. I think I fixed it. I think. My iPhone was doing better than this silly Samsung. <laughs> uh, who knows? They update these things and break stuff. I got it. The worst part is when you're on a good signal and everything's working and then it just switches to the one that's not good. Well, I got that. <laughs> Alright. If I could just lock on the one that was working. But even if I did that, it would change <laughs> down the tracks. <laughs> yeah, we're good now, though. I fixed it. I like it there, Christy. I love it. Hi, Eli. Ellie and Robin. It is kind of cool how you're in Magic Kingdom, but then there's also like this wilderness over there. But it doesn't go very far. Beyond that is the um, facilities plant and all that kind of stuff down there. Armor is EXP Realty, the same company the Victor works for. Nope, that's different. Nope. No, we're not partnered with Victor anymore. We're doing our own thing. We're partnered with EXP Realty now. Maybe Grandma needs to eat. I'm lagging a bit too. <laughs> yeah, he's at 92%, so he's good. All right, we're good. Yeah, make sure you're live right now because when it lags, sometimes you we have our issues. It does look like everything's holding now. <clears throat> yeah, Mandy, I'd love to do People Mover, but it was down earlier. Let's see if it's back up yet. Astro Robert has been down most of the day. I looked on my. My wait time sign, by the way. Eh, people were still down, according to my. Yeah, people were down, according to my app. 
Uh, but speaking of wait time signs, or, or it's not a special stream, but if you want to check out the wait time signs, they still have 15% off. It's magicbenreaders.com slash wait. I have my wait time sign on my desk, and it was telling me People Mover was down earlier. <laughs> so, and also Astro Orbiter. But anyway, it's uh, magicbenreaders.com slash wait. Use code RESORT15 for 15% off. We've also got mickeytravels.com. If you want to book your next trip to Disney, mickeytravels.com is the place to do it. Super easy, and they'll do all the hard work for you. And cost the same as if you booked it yourself or less. Castle shows at 6.15. Yeah, we're not going to make... Oh. We're definitely going to miss that. Shoot. I didn't even think about it. Oh, well. We've seen it a few times. It's fine. It's fine. We're definitely... Oh, here we go. We're going now. We're we'll probably lag in the Tronel. So we'll be back. Looks like we're on our way. And I'm so glad to have you with us. Next leg of our journey takes us to Main Street, USA. We'll head for Frontierland after that. Stay seated and keep your hands and arms, feet and legs inside the train at all times. Oh, and please keep an eye on your children. Para su seguridad, permanezca sentado y mantenga las manos, brazos, pies y piernas dentro del tren. Y cuide a los pequeños. Gracias. Next stop is a place that's always ahead. Not just because we're on a straightaway. Our metropolis of mechanical marvels, Tomorrowland. this railroad about as much as a songbird loves the point. But I'm still awed by the rockets and space and pop. That's it. Like Nasha should talk to this conductor about how to do intergalactic uh, or interstellar travel, you know. <laughs> Our trip around the Magic Kingdom is almost complete. I can't thank you enough for spending part of your day with me, and I hope you've enjoyed your journey as much as I've appreciated being a part of it. We're now approaching our most charming destination, Main Street, USA. A place where the only thing sweeter than the townsfolk is the treats. After our stop, we'll be heading for Frontierland, followed by a visit to Fantasyland. For now, stay seated until our train comes to a complete stop. Then pick up your belongings and carefully disembark. If you have strollers to unfold, please take them all the way beyond the platform so new passengers can safely hop aboard. It'd be mighty kind of them. And while we're being neighborly, what say we give our fellow travelers a friendly wave hello? This is Main Street Station, after all. Welcome to Main Street, USA. As we approach the station, please remain fully seated and completely inside the train until the train comes to a full, complete stop. If you hear a single whistle, the word is all clear. To hear those things, please remain fully seated and completely inside the train. I will let you know when it is safe for you to disembark. So I have a ways to go, friends. The train is still in motion. Please remain seated. That is the 
all clear. It is now safe for you to do so. Please gather all your belongings to watch your hands. Three minutes to the show, I might make it. Or at least I'll make it to where we can see it a little bit. Thank you. Excuse me. All right. Hey. Yeah, last time this didn't work because of the microphones. So we'll see if we can have a work. Oh, gee, it's now it's raining. Yeah, they may not do it. It's just sprinkling, but last time sprinkling seemed to cause some issues. Or maybe it was the microphones. Who knows? Either way, we'll see some of it. Josh Hustle Engage. That's right. GM trademark. <laughs> All right, that was fun. We seem to have figured out the uh, lagging situation for now. Fingers crossed, everybody. But uh, it was a fun train ride. Yeah, the stations definitely don't have great signal. Maybe I should try Wi-Fi in the stations next time. Yeah. We'll have to do it another day because there are no more train rides today. Why is it raining so much? It rains a lot now, and it never rains this time of year. Like, a lot, a lot. And it's not like hard rain, it's just like annoying little sprinkles. So I'm so confused. I don't get it. Okay. But beautiful Christmas, Main Street USA. That's right, Stream Finder. Okay. One minute. I think they're gonna postpone it or do something because for safety of the actors. And I get it, there was a terrible accident with the Pirates of the Caribbean show several years ago. I'm not gonna go into detail on it, but it was pretty bad and it was because the performer slipped. So definitely safety first. And in fact, if you know Disney's motto, it is safety courtesy, efficiency, and then show. Which means show is important, but show is actually last. Safety is first. Let's see if they do it. They're doing it, wow. Shocking. With help from my helpful little helpers. 
Ahoy, happy lives. I mean, happy holidays. Yeah? Spending the holidays together is so nice, like a sauna. Ah. Now go to enjoy the rest of your night and let it be merry and bright. Oh my god! Good night. Super fun. I'm glad it worked. Yeah, somebody said lag at the beginning, but I didn't, I didn't see that on mine. So hopefully it wasn't very long. It might have been a, a regional thing or something. But yeah, I was watching the signal and it was good. But I turned it down anyway and it looks like it held. So that's good. I mean, it's busy in here, of course. Okay, now, so now we can just get our people mover working. That'd be even better. But if not, we got other things to do. Let's check our wait times now that we're done with all of the shows. Well, maybe we should get out of here first. That's a little scary in here right now. Now, some people will just stay here for the fireworks, and it's like so long from now. All right, there we go. I didn't see it. Okay, good. So, let's see what we got here, wait time wise. Aha! I think we found our objectives, guys. Let's. We're gonna head that way. Looks like pirates is only 10 minutes. I think that's the move. I still don't see any people move or moving people. Since Astro Orbiter was also down, it makes me think there was something wrong with that tower. Uh, not tower, that little, that, you know, building in the middle of uh, Tomorrowland, the Rocket Tower Plaza station. I guess Disney really knows the crowds, how they're going to be each night, because it's only open until 10 tonight, and the, the wait times are low, so overall so that's actually pretty cool we're gonna go get water. Right, here we go all right well jenna's at home today but she is going to do her birthday stream tomorrow and uh everybody please tune in for that tomorrow around 5 30 ish at epcot where she does festival of the holidays and um, we didn't really get to do a lot of the stuff last night. We just did candlelight and the, the ride and everything else. So, <clears throat> so we missed, you know, we missed definitely some things, especially merch and uh, food. So, Jenna will be sharing all of that with you tomorrow. As well, stop doing that tomorrow. As the people movers up now, we'll, we'll go back for it. Sharp picture even when fully zoomed in. Amazing how phone cameras have come. Yeah, how far they've come. Yeah, go back and watch our first few streams and you can see how far they've come. It's crazy. Hi, Nia. How are you? Let's turn this up a little bit. There we go. I love how there's a snow G named William. He's like all these different snow names, and he's like, and William. <laughs> love that. There's actually some of the uh, Frozen storybooks. They have the snow G's in there. So we've read. I read some books to Liam that had that in it. Hi, Rena. Pirates is five. Yeah, I just saw it ten, but it might have gone down. Either way, we're going. Hi, Johnny and Jason. Hello. Glad you're here. All right, now we are going to switch to a slightly different connection really quick. So, or not people mover, pirates, I should say. Action here. We are goal for. The Let me just do. It doesn't take down this.
All right, we're back. I'll be enjoying a little parade music there. That was kind of fun, huh? Let me see if I can get that. Okay. <clears throat> and while we're walking, let's take another awesome sponsor, Resort TV One Homes. If you'd like to get your dream home here in Central Florida, definitely check out ResortTV1Homes.com. It's brokered by EXP Realty. That's ResortTV1Homes.com, brokered by EXP Realty. We would love to help you find the home of your dreams here in Central Florida. Wow, five minutes with Pirates. That's amazing. Yeah. ResortTV1Homes.com. Also, follow Resort TV One Homes, Homes on YouTube. Lots of great videos about how to move down here. Yeah, let's see, Amy. It would be nice if it was a walk on for sure. Making it for the concert. I'm supposed to go to getting canceled. Oh, Robert, sorry to hear that. Well, we're going to have fun here tonight, like you said. Yeah, Jenna's going to be live tomorrow right here on Resort TV One for her birthday stream. So come on and wish her a happy birthday. And it's actually the night before her birthday, but she's going to spend her birthday, of course, just enjoying herself with Dale and family. Jason watching from Richmond. Hello from Richmond. Takes five minutes to walk through the queue. That's true. We're doing Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party. Yeah, we did it Wednesday just a few days ago. You can go back and watch the replay if you want. Kyle, how are you? Hey, Bill. Who wants the red hat? I know, right? I've got a video or two with the red head. That literally was a walk-on. Oh, almost. One. Sounds good. All right, six is good because I can kind of hold the phone up and not be in somebody's eye. All right, I can do front or back. Jenna likes to do back because we've had some people get upset with us for having the camera up, but in the front, I always keep it down low. I always keep it down super low in the front. <laughs> You're not on it right now, but I, I am streaming. <laughs> oh, it, I think it'll be all right. <laughs> People are some of the best people, I agree. Thank you. 
this with your miserable cur. Pirates ride. That was that was good. Always like it when it's lagless. I'm not count. Sometimes it lags on this ramp, but that doesn't count. <laughs> At least 
in in my in my uh, rules it doesn't count. Liam is making up all these games lately where he's like, Dad, I won. I'm like, what did you win? He's like, oh, I got to this part eating my pizza first. And I'm like, oh, okay, I didn't know we were racing. He's like, yeah, we were. <laughs> so funny. He's so funny. It was 1776. People watching, very patriotic. <laughs> All right, here we go. Everything's a competition. Yep. We took the training wheels off his bike today. Before the stream, he rode around a little bit. Also cleaned the patio. Whew. That was a was a job. I don't know. Maybe I'm just not good at patio cleaning, or maybe I'm being too like specific about it but I, I like there's like grass on the floor and stuff and I'll want to get the grass off and you know I'll, I'll try and use the I'll use the broom and I'll use the hose and it gets all nice and clean I put all the furniture out and then when I put it back in I track the grass right back in and I'm like why did they do that but it is cleaner for sure it's just kind of funny so anyway the coke is under lock and key it's too funny P7 I know I gotta be one step ahead of him in the pizza race next time. 2000 Dan LB is in the chat. Hi Dan, how are you? You guys, Dan got me some great footage of a um, vintage computer museum system source and I actually am gonna be working on that video next for my retro channel and it'll be hopefully out on Tuesday after Tranquil Tuesday. Okay, I was gonna go do uh, Thunder Mountain but it looks like it's gone up a little so I may well save that for later. Oh, P People Mover is back up. Okay, let's go do People Mover since it's still a walk on. We might come back for Thunder here in a minute. We've got several rides to do though. Yeah, wait times are not bad. Do you have the app? Check out the app. Well, here I'll show you. Woo. My Carousel and People Mover are both five. Monsters Inc. is 10. Speedway is five. We might do that. Dumbo is 10. We don't do that very often. We might go back and do that. Mermaid's 25. Winnie the Pooh is so long, always. It's a good ride, but wow. Small World's still long, though. Is the riverboat still open this late? Wow, it is really open. That's crazy. That would be fun to do at night, but I don't think we're going to get to it today. I think the last boat I probably already sailed. The last boat's probably at 6.30. Maybe 7? I don't know. You guys can tell me. Hi, Shannon. I saw Shannon was in the park. Yeah, maybe we'll see you here. Sorry if I'm... Inevitably, when somebody's finding me, I always walk the wrong direction. No, it's not not intentional. <laughs> not intentional. All right, I am going to do a real quick switch of connections. So, stay tuned, everybody. We'll be right back. back everybody I could probably have kept it on that other connection I don't know <laughs> it's getting to be that they're all about the same anymore look at the sky it's so beautiful all right yes and I just hey Bobby yeah, I just turned up the uh, the quality because we're outside look at the steam coming out of the lamp there it's pretty cool David said you never got picked. What? I was want to be that guy. Oh yeah, that guy one time. Wasn't when we were filming though. It was like before YouTube days. I actually have been picked for stuff. Dad was picked for the um, to be an extra in one of those shows. Um, in the backstage shows at Hollywood Studios that used to happen. Saw the movie Wish. That's awesome. It's been really bad critic critic rated, but I uh, heard the audiences like it. So who cares what the critics say? I guess. Check out the full moon. Oh, near full moon, near Jupiter. I didn't see it. I must have looked right over it. Is Jupiter out tonight? <laughs> right. Actually. Oh, sorry, Shannon. I'm heading for People Mover. 
So you're welcome to meet me there or maybe later. I'll have to see. Yeah, that's why I said inevitably I ended up going the wrong way, but sorry about that. Hi hey, Bitritz, how are you? <laughs> waka waka Jupiter. Love the coats and long sleeves, so jealous since I mostly can only go in Inferno. Yeah, honestly you wouldn't really need a jacket right now. I'm even a little bit warm in my sweater. I've got a light sweater on it, 69, so I probably should, I could take it off, but I don't want to stop the stream and put it back on when it gets cool, so. <clears throat> At this level, I'm fine with just a t-shirt. I was the guy in the boat. Yeah, Dad was the guy in the boat one time. All right. JRNJ is here. Hello, Jay. Vicky Gillespie. Let's see. Anything Hanukkah in the park? There's some merch in the park, yeah. Some Hanukkah merch in the stores. Absolutely. <clears throat> There's a Hanukkah Mickey and uh, some menorahs and yeah, all kinds of things. People mover never gets old. It sure doesn't. I didn't even know you liked that, right? I know. I, I really do keep it kind of secret. Like, I don't really talk about it much. I don't really ride it that much. So I can understand how you guys would not know if I really <clears throat> like that ride or not. So, but now you know. Are there no shirts? Yeah, I'm not sure. Ooh. Last time we were here, we were doing the Christmas party. So, super fun, but we didn't get to ride as many rides. Tonight's all about rides and decorations. And of course, we got an hour and <clears throat> an hour and a little more. An hour and twelve minutes till fireworks. Thanks again for another awesome stream. You're welcome, Mary. Oh, Robot Coach, you got all the streamers plugged in. It was cool to see Ron and Coda last night. If you're watching them, tell them I said hi. I went over there and said hi in the chat earlier. Oh, for Ron's chat, I should have gone in Coda's chat. I was just <laughs> trying to do that with one hand while I was eating. Kind of hard to do. Okay. Castle is amazing. Oh, here I forgot. Forgot to readjust the uh, brightness. Josh wanted to build a full scale people mover's backyard, but couldn't get the permits. Yeah. Also, there's that small thing of not having enough room. <laughs> but other than that, we were totally going to do it. I don't know. I'd have to. I have to. Uh, I'd have to win that debate with my wife because she wants a lazy river in the backyard. So you know, <laughs> we're probably just going to keep grass in the backyard for now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in this dilemma too because I like to have a really nice yard but I don't have time to do it myself anymore so I have somebody that mows the lawn but man they just hack it to death it's, especially in the backyard they even put a hole in our little, in our fence that's only a couple years old like a hole on the inside layer but of course I can't prove they did it so because I didn't notice until several weeks later so I'm stuck with a hole in the fence It's hard to find people that take pride in their work anymore, that's for sure. Not easy to do while eating, yep. Oh, people move a track to be a river, that's a good idea. I could get a Larry Kill Flyer and pull it around. There we go, that'd be like a people mover. <clears throat> it would be a short ride though. Oh, I'm so glad it's back on. Shoot, lost my cap. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Be easier to move into Genesis Castle. Have your own people over. Good idea. <clears throat> I just dropped the cap to my water, right on the ground. All right. Five second rule. I'm just gonna put it right back on because immune system. <laughs> okay, here we go. Uh, your daughter couldn't get the scar, the cars to skirt. That's funny. Make the skirt noise. I flipped my lid. I did. 
looks like it for trying to drink out of a bottle of water with one hand. Oh, it just stopped. It's not moving people anymore. I'm sure I wouldn't need to convince Dad to put a people mover in the backyard. Nope. Although he has a smaller backyard than I do. <laughs> well, probably about the same. Central Florida will have above normal rainfall through April due to El Nino. Is that what it is? Is it El Nino? Man, I can't keep track of all that stuff. El Nino, La Nina, all the kids. <laughs> right? Because Nino is a little boy and Nina is a little girl. It's all these little kids causing trouble on the, on the weather. <laughs> all right, I'm going to stop. While the people mover stopped, I'm going to stop and use the restroom really quick. And then uh, hopefully once people mover going again, we can go get on it. I actually did check into getting a Tron um, boarding group today, but but it was they were still available like at 2.45 when I checked, but I wasn't in the park. I was, you know, was at home doing stuff at home. So by the time I got here, at like 4.30 they were gone, which under, is understandable. But they were available for a long time. So let me really quick put you guys on BRB and enjoy the parade music. We'll see if that get me, gets me copyright claimed. Uh, that's funny, Stream Finder. I'll ask you if it's El Nino, it may be her cousin. Yeah, it could be, David. I don't know. <laughs> All right, we'll be right back. Everybody, we're in our very own winter wonderland. 
Welcome back, everybody. <coughs> Brad said, must have been a line. I think you see that every time I go to the bathroom. No, I just take my time. I just, I'm not in a hurry. Not in a hurry. I just take how long it takes. <laughs> I used to like really hurry and like, you know, whatever, but I'm like, why stress? You got the BRB, you guys will be fine. <laughs> Hi, beautiful mouse co. <clears throat> oh, I'm by myself. It's either restroom breaks or I don't stream. Those are the two options, so. Oh, okay. I was like, <clears throat> it wasn't that long, was it? All right. Hey, guys. What's going on, Josh? Not much. Just enjoying the rain. <laughs> okay, well, fun times. I don't know when the hat box ghost is going to materialize. I have no idea. Hey, Marmar. Yeah. Hey, everybody. It's definitely still raining. Yep, it sure is. Am I ready for the cold point? I don't know. This is the TTA. Yep. <laughs> Hey, Kevin. I'm ready for La Nina. If it's drier, that's fine with me. <laughs> I don't understand why it rains all the time now. What's that? Actually, it rained a little bit when I got out of my car. <laughs> it's my fart. <laughs> my fault. Fart? My fault. No, that's the summer. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> that's the summer. It's supposed to be dry this time of year. Hey, Tigger Tail John. <laughs> oh my goodness, Spider Man. Wow. Thank you so much. Wow. <laughs> Thanks, Brad. <laughs> Uh, uh, so Spider-Man, so funny, so, so generous, not funny, sorry, Brad was funny, you were very generous, wow, uh, it's a hundred dollars, hi Josh, my job doesn't leave much time to get to the parks, often which makes what you all do more special, keep streaming, Merry Christmas, thank you so much Spider-Man, appreciate that, so thank you so much Spider-Man, that is very, very, very kind. Hundred dollars. This is so generous. So thank you very much. Everybody, thanks Spider Man for that. That was very very kind. All right. It was a little bit of a line <clears throat> wasn't here earlier, so but that's all right. <laughs> Alif says it was dry in the summer. Yeah, I guess they switched, huh? Thanks, Peter Parker. I love it. I love it. 
Oh, Tim is fine. I think he's just sick. Uh, he'll be he'll be feeling better soon, I'm sure. Yeah, he had the flu, but I think he'll be okay. He's a tough one. <laughs> to start packing for our vacation. Guess where we're going? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, where are you going, Leaf and Amy? You guys, you guys live down here now, right? 25 minutes, yeah. Could be. It's not that long, though. We're almost there. Carol says, thanks for streaming. We appreciate you. Could I ask, can I ask how you stay so well being around so many people all the time? Um, <clears throat> I uh, have been a teacher for a long, long time, so I've had a lot of exposure to immune system stuff. Plus, I also take... Um, different things like I use uh, on guard drops which is like essential oils that really helps anytime my throat feels scratchy even if it's just because I talk too much which is a thing <laughs> uh, even if it's just with that I just put those on guard drops in and it really helps so it helps to kill any of those germs I also use Zycam lots of vitamin C so yeah all right David enjoy your uh, enjoy your company Moose Saratoga Springs. That's fun, Leaf. Have a great time. Classroom cootie defenses. Yeah, for sure. For sure. to love learning about weather when my daughter was little. That's cool. Yeah, Florida is definitely an interesting place to study weather, that's for sure. That's definitely interesting. Hi, Petra. Hi, Carly. Oh, you're going to be here New Year's. That's right. That's going to be so much fun. You're going to love it. Hi Heather. Hey cardboard box. Welcome in. I didn't know much about essential oils, but my wife knows all about it and I learned about it and it definitely helps for sure <laughs> have fun guys hey don't break it okay <laughs> it's already been broke once today uh, okay <laughs> now we know the school's calendar and the ice hockey commitments maybe we can squeeze in new year's eve turkey day uh, or christmas visit oh there you go that'd be cool Yeah, one more week to Illuminus. I'm really gonna miss um, Epcot Forever. It's gonna be it was such a great show. Pirates has almost always been my favorite attraction. I was a cast member in Fire during its construction. Behind the scenes, uh, look was always eye opening. I bet it is. That's true. That's true. D is very into essential oils as well. We have them all over the house. They should talk. Yeah, they should. <laughs> and yeah, she diffuses them and, and you know, takes them, put them on, you know, all the things. But they do help. 
at least from my unscientific <laughs> personal test. Zycam is good too when you really feel like you're getting something. It's not foolproof. I mean, I was sick a few times last year, but it seemed like that was just because my immune system hadn't really caught back up after COVID. Hi, Luis. How are you? Yes, I live very close to Disney for sure. Or I wouldn't be able to come all the time. <laughs> yep. But I'm glad you're here. Yes, it will come back eventually. And maybe that's the meaning of the name Epcot Forever, that it just keeps coming back. Well, I talked about that the other day, you know? And that's okay. I'd be okay with that. I would be okay with that. Peppermint oil is great for sinuses. Hello. Lavender is good, yeah, for sure. Yep, lavender is good for calming. It might be good for immunity too, but Steph always says this for calming you down. Could be both. When we were there, last there, and the guy sneezed in my face, I got sick. Gina, Gina was having me steep organic, uh, oregano and peppermint oils. Yeah, oregano is good too. All right. So as we get on here, let's talk about one more sponsor, David's DVC Rentals, dvcrequest.com slash TV. If you would like to uh, book a DVC room for a fraction of the cost, just check out David's DVC Rental, dvcrequest.com slash TV. That's dvcrequest.com slash TV. Saw the picture of my tree. Oh, did Steph post a picture of the tree? <laughs> I was like, oh, wow, that's cool. Yes, Mike, I was asking Neil not to break it. <laughs> and Neil and I are going to be playing instruments together. One, that magical night of hope. Okay. Yeah, magical night of hope. There we go. That's magicalnightofhope.com. Hey, Rena. I was being super, super patient. <laughs> a little boy behind me. He was excited. He must have run into me like, I don't know, 25 times. I didn't say anything because, you know, why bother? But <laughs> it's like after a while, I'm like, okay, kid, seriously. <laughs> Stop running into me. I'm pretty patient, but after a while, I'm like, okay, I'm getting a complex. <laughs> Anyway, let's enjoy some people moving. And other appendages inside your car. And please supervise This is the TTA Blue Line. Non-stop service around Tomorrowland. Greetings, intergalactic travelers. Welcome aboard the People Mover, presented by Enterprise. I'm Morak 5, your guide aboard this highway in the sky. The absolute best way to see Tomorrowland. And my stars, is there ever lots to see? From spacecraft to monster maps, there's really nothing like today in Tomorrowland. For your safety, if you have wings, jetpacks, or gravity polarizers, please do not take flight while on board. Thank you. visionary ideas throughout Walt Disney World. 
Look, there's even a tiny people mover. I wonder if that means there's a tiny people rack. On your right is Star Traders, home to the greatest goods in the galaxy. Except actual stars. Those are the ones. Now approaching Tomorrowland Speedway and Tron Light Cycle Run. I love a good circuit, and these are two of the best tracks of the cosmos for a bit of light speedy competition. Progress. As you 
usual will keep moving ahead. And so does the carousel. Like progress itself, this theater never stops, inspiring new generations to dream of a great, big, beautiful tomorrow. That's a nice view. Much lag since we got on the train, so that's or got off the train, so that's good. Must be a train station lag. <laughs> All right, so we had a couple super chats. Let me pull them up here real quick. Susan Miller, uh, fifteen dollars. Happy Saturday. Always love NK at night. Sue and Tony. Thank you, Susan Miller. I appreciate that very much. Fifteen dollars from Sue and Tony. Thank you so much. And Jeremy, seven 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 four ninety nine. 
Hey Josh, how long is the line at Joffrey's? Um, I don't know, Jeremy, but thank you for the four ninety nine super chat. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> hey, charge your principal. All right, here we go. Let's. Looks like the collective five is up here. Let's see what they sound like. Now they're out during the Christmas party too, I believe. I do miss the Stitch show though. I'm obviously not as big a fan as Jenna is, but I still liked it. It was a fun show. Oh, they're a nice group. Oh, he's got this giant like hole in the middle. <laughs> oh, they got the mics and everything. Come on, everybody, we gotta get in the Christmas spirit. I need you to help right here with a stop clap. Come on, here we go. Oh, you got it? There it is. Don't be shy. Here we go. So I won't cry, The rhythm, the medicine, my heart will be beating the rhythm of the day. We'll make every day feel like hurry. Oh, 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 oh. You'll make every day feel like hurry. Oh, 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 oh. You'll make every day feel like hurry. Oh, 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 oh. Thank you. Oh, 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 oh. That was fun. I'm going to go ahead on the live here real quick. Everybody. That was awesome. They sound great. Very cool. Thanks for Dr. Jingle Bell song. Oh, he had a good he had a good version for sure. He had a good version of a lot of things. All right, so I'm looking at the wait times. It's 20 minutes for Big Thunder. I don't want to chance that with fireworks at eight. So let's go on um, Speedway real quick. Now Speedway is almost a walk. I'm gonna go on Speedway. Then we'll go find a fireworks spot. I'm really glad they have a live performance going on just on a regular night. That's cool. That's a good group. Give them a gig and give people some live music. It's a win-win. Hey, Allison. Hey, Plymouth Rock. CM, Merry Christmas to you as well. Oh, here, let me turn the brightness back up. I had it down. I was turning it down because the stage lights are bright, of course. Isn't it funny how our eyes adjust to lighting changes like that so much better than cameras do still? Our eyes, as fallible as they can be, are actually still pretty amazing and still well beyond what a camera can do. It's still pretty, it's incredible, honestly. Aiden says, hi from Indiana, hello. When's the first Christmas parade? Um, well, there isn't one tonight because there's no Christmas party. They don't start Christmas parades during regular park days until um, the week before Christmas. So we will not be seeing any any parades tonight, unfortunately. But that's okay. This doesn't look too bad.
the wait times go down right before fireworks. Except Jingle Cruise. Jingle Cruise is uh, hanging on there at 75 minutes. <laughs> All right, here we're going. Yeah, this isn't bad. I could go find a fireworks spot, but I'm just like, you know what? Let's keep doing stuff. We'll find a spot somewhere. Thank you everybody for being here tonight and being so kind all the time. We appreciate you. Making what we do so much fun every day. Sophia, wait. You know what? Excuse me. I'm gonna, on second thought, it's not moving very well, so I don't want to miss it. It'll be too late for fireworks. We'll come back. Excuse me. Pardon me. Excuse me. Let's take a stroll. We're gonna take a stroll. Yeah, I was just like, I got to think, I got to doing some math, and I was like, that math is not mathing right now. Math is not mathing. I, I do try and find good spots for fireworks, that's for sure. I do try. Let's take a little stroll. No Christmas version of uh, teacups here, that's for sure. So, let's see, where should we stroll? Hmm. You know what? I don't want to go all the way around. Yep, we could come back. I think that's a good call. Let's just stroll down this way. I had an idea, but I was like, I was like, nah. We're gonna go around. Uh, Valerie, yeah, fireworks. Uh, we are showing those tonight in about 30 minutes. In about 30 minutes. And by the way, I don't know if it's showing yet or not, but channel members, you guys should be seeing um, new emojis now that you've a lot of you've been members for more than a month. Not emojis, sorry. You get new badges by your name every month. So that's kind of cool. Um, let me see if I can find it. Yeah, so every every month it, uh, your icon by your name will change to a different little uh, background behind it. So, that's fun. All right. You know what? This might not be the best way to do this. Might not be the best way to do this. Let's go this way. We'll visit. We'll go visit Sunny for a second. Let's just stroll. Again, don't forget to subscribe to my new channel, Retro TV One Tech, <clears throat> and Jenna's new channel, Adventures of Jen and Dale.
it's so funny that this is just so iconic still. You know, the music's still so perfect. It's like classy dinner music. You would expect the music here to be like cheesy and whatever, and it kind of is, but even as a music teacher, I'm like, this is really, it's really good. Said he gave me soup and salad. Hey, Johnny, how are you? I don't know, it's just a cool little melody, you know? It's piano animated, yeah, pretty much, I think. Cool Christmas merch, of course. Not new. <coughs> We've shown it. But uh, it is cool. We, we shopped. <coughs> The stitchy car is fun. They have the car and they also have the uh, shirts that go with it. In July that place was filled. Yeah, today isn't, I'm not sure it was, uh, you know, yesterday and maybe even the day before on Thanksgiving, but certainly not as busy today. And that's probably why it's not open as late. Yes, Jeremy, it would be great to have a Skyliner back, for sure. It would have gone right through here. Well, kind of through here. <laughs> I can't remember exactly how it did come through Tomorrowland. I, it went over the speedway, didn't it? Yeah, it went over the speed line. And then it, it, it uh, went right in front of Space Mountain. It turned. There was a turning station in uh, the speedway grounds area. And then they took that, and um, it turned you right into the station, which was right next to Space Mountain, it was actually um, it was actually right there above the bathrooms by Space Mountain. So they just took the top of the building off, and now that bathroom building is just bathrooms. It used to be uh, the Skyway Station. So you guys remember that? Did they sell stars there? Apparently, they used to. <laughs> I mean, you know. I feel like those would be a little hard to fit in your car. And there's that, you know, there's that whole danger of black holes, you know, and stuff. Maybe that's why they don't sell them anymore. Uh, 2,000 people in the chat. Welcome in, everybody. Hi, how are you? Yeah, so definitely hit that uh, subscribe button right below the video. If you're new, uh, we're just under 200 away from 185k so that'll be fun i had to show this real quick they do still have all the photo spot areas out for the parties for everybody it is weird that the tomorrowland speedway is unlit during uh the non-party days it's just like decorations not lit but i get it you gotta have something special for the people that paid extra for the party all right let's go this way Amy, I'm so glad. All right, we're going to have to go down in quality a little bit. It is uh, a little sketchy through here this time of night. Stay tuned. Sky buckets were terrifying. I always liked them. I mean, as a kid, I don't remember being scared, but you never know. I miss the Lilo and Stitch series. I kind of remember that. I, I do miss Saturday morning cartoons. Let's see if we can keep ourselves going here. Excuse me. <clears throat> I love how they've incorporated a Christmas poinsettia type plants here within the uh, it's kind of like points that are within the landscaping. Uh, it looks like we're holding steady on signal. It might lag as we get to Main Street, but it doesn't look that, it doesn't look that crowded, actually. Whoa. We're 20 minutes till fireworks, and it does not look that crowded in this area. 
<clears throat> normally I'd be hard pass to the left, but <clears throat> excuse me. I may go straight. Just for funsies. Oh, I can't go straight. I have to kind of go this way. It's a very narrow spot here. Okay. Yeah, a lot of the old Disney cartoons used to really be great. You know, I don't know, like about Wish. You know, I'm gonna have to watch it for myself to judge whether I like it or not. <clears throat> I think, unfortunately, you know, Disney's kind of in a predicament with that because, you know, you get people saying, well, if they remake something, it might be popular. Like if they make a second Frozen or a well, third Frozen or fourth Frozen or whatever, people are gonna be like, oh, you keep doing the same thing. But then if they make something new and people don't like it, then, you know, there's, Oh wow, there's still tons of spots here on Main Street. How crazy. Oh, maybe we'll go further forward a little bit. We never do that. Let's just do it. You know, let's come way up. We'll come way up here. Now let's do that. No projections on the street this time. How about that? Just something different. What do you guys think? Or you want to go back further and get the projections? I just never usually get a spot this good at this time. I'm like literally right by the ice cream shop here. Yeah, they're doing Happily Ever After Fireworks tonight in 21 minutes. I don't know. I guess I can walk around a little bit, though. Yeah, Noel, our family Christmas tree is up. There's so much room here. I'm kind of shocked. Yeah, let's do something different. I like it. This means I have to stand here for 20 minutes, but <clears throat> sorry. You can't top pigs with pigs, Walt Disney. <laughs> That's funny. <clears throat> I see what you're saying, though. But yeah, they get, uh, I guess my point was they get, you know, people, when they do something original, then people don't like it. And it's like, and I get it, the original thing has to be good, but it is a catch-22. People are downing them for remaking stuff and then people are downing them for making stuff that they don't know you know or they haven't seen before a toy story five wow i mean I, you know it's whatever if it's good that's fine liam filled out a christmas list oh yeah for sure and he's um he, you know he's a typical seven-year-old it changes all the time but it's actually um we've got a lot of our shopping done so we just saw Wish today. Animation, animation and music were great. The story was not. Interesting, Lisa. Okay. Well, I'm interested and anxious to see it for myself. Yeah, I don't want to go too far outside of the, the bubble here. I'm afraid. I think if I stay here, though, is this good? Because if I go too much past the buildings, we could be in trouble with signal. I like the Amazon at least sending the wish book out. Feels old school. Dan, I know I love the wish book. It's literally like an old school Christmas catalog. It's really, really a great idea. 100% support that. And actually, if we stay here, we should be able to. Up to Moana 2 and Coco 2, yeah. You never know. Oh, yeah, Stephen could be. I don't know. Oh, Stephen was asking earlier, why do they stop the TTA? Uh, it's lots of reasons. It is to let people on with m mobility impairments. It's also sometimes just because somebody stood up. That's usually what it is.
it could also be uh, that a sensor was tripped. They have different sensors that, that go around the area, and um, yes, yeah, so it, could, it could have been that a sensor got tripped. Let's try that. We're going to be super brave. We're going to be on the edge of signal here. That's a little better, actually, I think. Wish me luck. <laughs> Let's see if we can get a good zoom on castle projections from here. Oh, yeah. Actually, the camera switch. Look at that. As we get closer, I'll pause it and I'll check the signal, make sure we're good, but we should be okay here. If I go any further, we're going to be in, in uh, trouble, maybe. We'll see. Oh, good, Jeremy. Standing on TTA. Stupid guest trick. <laughs> Those are speakers on the light poles. You should also have good uh, audio. Yes. And there also are speakers in the uh, windows here. So, yeah, we'll have good audio from here for sure. I have a great view of tank from here. Yeah, we usually don't come all the way up here. I have some options to switch connections if I need to, so. minutes again make sure and check out all of our awesome sponsors let's see we've talked about magicbandreaders.com we'll mention them one more time magicbandreaders.com you can get your very own magic band reader for your home or office um, and use code resort 15 for 15 percent off your purchase so that's magicbandreaders.com you can get your very own magic band reader Yep, you get your very own Magic Band Reader. You can also get your own wait time sign. And that would be at magicbandreaders.com slash wait. Go check it out. There's the wait time sign. Ooh, there it is. All right, there we go, guys. Perfect. All right, magicbandreaders.com slash wait. Uh, Jeremy, I'm at 55% battery. I use code resort15 for 15% off. Yesterday was 20, and today's 15. Still pretty good. Any hidden spots for VIPs to watch fireworks? Not really. Um, I mean, there's there's the spots like in front of the castle there in the little, the hub grass is one spot that people do. There's also um, the train station is used for VIPs a lot. 
Korean America, yes. So cool. Anyway, fun times, guys. What else? Oh. Uh, behind the ride. Behind the ride on Amazon. If you want to find out how all your favorite rides were created, just go to Amazon and search for Behind the Ride by David Mumpower. Let's go to Amazon, search for Behind the Ride. TTA 25, yeah, not bad. Actually, a walkway right there. I'm excited to see it from here. We are definitely pretty much in front of Main Street building, so we are not in a place that I would normally recommend standing to stream, but we're going to try it. I'm the stream finder here. I'm not on my X tonight, stream finder. <laughs> Need opera glasses if you're on the railroad platform? Yeah, that's true. We should be okay. Where are the projectors located? So there's some just on the tops of those buildings right there. And on this building right there. And then there's some in different places like on Liberty Square and Tomorrowland to hit the sides. <clears throat> it's pretty amazing where they put them all and how far away they actually are. Like we're pretty far from the castle. So those projectors are super powerful. Somebody said they're like 190 or 100 grand each. Like laser projectors. And they couldn't do this projection mapping stuff until those types of projections were projectors were available that were strong enough to hit from far away. All right, so hit the like button, guys, and we'll see what rides we can do after this. Let's see. Yeah, everything's pretty low now. Change the projection. I feel like there's still a lot of room back here. I don't see the balloon, but that's okay. Oh, have fun, Al. We didn't get we didn't get y'all in. minutes guys so what's everybody doing tonight let me know Are you guys just chilling out in front of the tv enjoying some snacks maybe watching your beautiful christmas tree maybe you got a fire going let me know what's going on at your house <laughs> he's being nosy no just kidding but yeah what are you guys up to tonight are you doing something are you multitasking while you watch the stream pick up your favorite device and let me know even if you're just watching on the tv Hey, Kevin. Hey, Ivan. At Epcot. We were at Epcot last night, so you can watch the replay of that. 
Jenna will be live at Epcot tomorrow, starting around 5.30 for her birthday stream. Oh, very good, Al. That sounds like a good, nice, relaxing evening. <laughs> You're not helping decorate? I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's okay. All right. Dan just finished making dinner. Eli's eating dinner. I'm decorating my tree. Awesome, Nika. Yeah, if you guys are decorating your tree, I know I had some people in the stream last night. I know Main Street Moments said they were decorating their tree during the candlelight. That's a great soundtrack to decorate your tree to, for sure. That candlelight was amazing last night. Building Lego Hogwarts. That's cool. Feeling great. Just won our rivalry game, and now I'm relaxing, trying to fight off the rest of the cold. Oh, good good luck with that. I know that's no fun. Glenn's watching football. Packing for Disneyland. Leave Thursday. Nice, Jen. Just finished my gingerbread milk tea. I'll be left for work, cuddled up with my cat on the sofa. Nice. We're packing to move. Oh, wow. Decorations, watching you, my alma mater. i watching my alma mater on you. Having a popcorn, a Coke, watching the stream finished cleaning up and putting up Christmas over at my mom's house. Nice, Amy. I'm not allowed to, oh, Al, you're not allowed, okay. <laughs> You've been banned from decorating. Relaxing and enjoying the stream. It's Sky watching Sound and Music. Oh, that's, that's such a fun thing to watch around the holidays. I'm working on designing Disney ornaments to 3D print for an exchange, nice. 3D printed ornaments, that sounds fun. My husband and I are wrapping Christmas gifts while watching the stream. Football and snacking, enjoying the live stream. I was watching on TV, had some pumpkin pie. Awesome. Ooh, pizza and mozzarella sticks. Yeah, Jen is feeling way better, guys. Just finished decorating my tree, watching in bed with my headphones. It's nearly 1 a.m. Just got done decorating a home for Christmas. Jeremy's watching on the tablet. Five before Disney celebrates one month of membership. Just made cookies for Apple Ever After. Soaking it all in. Got you on the big screen. Awesome. Ariel, and you're very welcome. <clears throat> Just finished decorating the tree. Relaxing in front of our fireplace with the Christmas lights on. Going to make some hot chocolate. Brooke, that's awesome. Christina, I'm doing great. And Glenn put up their tree earlier. Ooh, Purdue one. Nice. We were just talking to that family from West Lafayette last night at the end of the stream. Nope, nothing wrong with the tablet. That's right, Jeremy. Uh, love watching your stream. God bless you and your family. Thanks, Seamus. Working while I watch a sell vintage ephemera. I don't know what that means, but it sounds cool. Shipping, getting orders... Ready to ship to customers. We're watching you on our big screen. As well as the phone. That's awesome. Split and stacked firewood. Ooh. You must be tired. Hey, Wendy. A Strasbourg Rail fan just became a member. Thank you, Strasbourg, for becoming a member. That is so kind of you. Could you pick me up a hot fudge Sunday? Sure, I will. I will get right on that. <laughs> Oh, Kelly, I always zoom in on Tinkerbell. You know that. You watch every time. You know that. We're getting chores done so we can decorate the house for Christmas. Nice. Watching the stream on our big screen, you've inspired us to book a trip. Very cool. Uh, let's see. Just ate a bowl of ice cream sugar dough. Nice. Friday, Finley is actually sitting in my lap instead of walking around. That's cool, BitRitz. Watching How the Grinch Stole Christmas. Steven's watching Friday Night Plus One Live. Finishing Central Time Zone Supper. Both babies in bed, Christmas shopping online and watching the stream. Oh, that's awesome, Christina. Merry Christmas. Hey, a little bit. You're very welcome. Selling with my dog Tigger. I'm watching you. Hey, Wendy. Sorry, I got as many of them as I could. Four minutes, guys. Uh, I should probably check the signal really quick. I don't know. What do you guys think? Are we okay? Should we check it or are we okay? At work being amazingly unproductive. That's okay, Alex. I won't tell anybody. We're going to live dangerously. If it lags, well, you know what to do. Well, I kind of like to know what I'm dealing with. 
how much leeway I have here. All right, stay tuned. I'll be right back. All right, we should be back now. That signal's great. <clears throat> Love this little violin thing, it's so fun. All right, enjoy, guys. Yeah, we got great signal here. Pretty amazing with all the people here. <clears throat> uh, Wendy, if you lost your live chat, best thing to do is close and reopen the video. Here we go, we got about two minutes, one and a half. the show. <coughs> Excuse me.
burn holes in green, and make them into tears. For you are the key to unlocking your own magic. Now go, let your dreams guide you. Reach out and find your happy ever after. Guys, we're gonna try and go this away, maybe. All right, so, fun times, fun times. Awesome stuff, awesome stuff. Let's see. I have a destination in mind. We'll see if we can get there. Hey, how are you? <laughs> Oh, thank you. Appreciate it. Our signal was great tonight. Man, that was cool to be up that close, huh? All right. Well, that just makes me want to try it even further. Even further away. I want to do it. I want to do it. All right. Sing along, everybody. You know the words. Yeah, I should have cut through. Okay, if I can just get like. That'll work. Ah, there we go. I don't know the words. <laughs> I love the, the extra verses in this one. Hey, Mara, welcome in. It's just beginning. Hey, Louis. Faster, reach out and find your happiness. Happily ever after. It really is a great song. Very well written. It's got all the things in it, including this big, huge note. Of the, sorry. Five, two, three, four.
The little echoes at the end are so nice. Okay, sorry I wasn't reading the chat. We're going to Big Thunder Mountain. You guys probably already figured that out. I don't know why I'm walking so fast. Well, I guess I do actually know why I'm walking so fast. I want to beat the crowd. Man, that was a good spot and the signal held the entire time. I did a speed test before. I was getting like 30 megabits up, which is awesome. I only need about five or six to make it work. So that was like, yes, I can do this. Isaac did a great job doing lyrics as always. I appreciate each and every one of you for being here. Sorry if my singing bothers you. No, nobody said it did. I just, I don't know. I can't help it. Look at that reflection. Yes, sir. Oh, we need better quality. What am I thinking? There we go. Look at that. What a view. All right. That was a great spot. Thanks, Al. Be at Magic Kingdom on New Year's Day. Um, was there a live music celebration on New Year's Day? What's Explain that to me. I, I don't know. I'll definitely be there. On, I'll definitely be at Epcot on New Year's Eve. That's my tradition. Love the singing. Oh, thanks. Okay. Yellow Rose of Texas. Oh, uh, yeah, Jeremy, it's, I don't think you're talking about Magic Kingdom. Definitely not close. We're all singing, so we can't really hear you. It's funny. Love it. Man, what a beautiful night it turned out to be after all the rain. Bringing to Disney to us is just amazing. Thanks, Louis. I imagine a trail of fire behind Josh as he burns his way along the walkways. That's funny, Stream Finder. Let's see. No trail. Okay. I wasn't sure. <laughs> Although there was nobody behind me, so it was easy to do that without freaking anybody out. Dude. This is cool. Yeah, Go Mania, it is amazing. We still got an hour and a half left to ride some stuff. We made it in line pretty well there. Okay. Awesome. Matt's gonna be Matt One T is gonna be at the parks. No, December 3rd through 8th. That'll be fun. All right, here we go. <laughs> what is your favorite World, Show World Showcase Pavilion Dream Festival of the Holidays? I don't know. Um, I like all of them. I'm not sure. I don't really have a favorite, per se. Candlelight's my favorite event, for sure. Keep it safe. Smokey Bear may have a viewer. <laughs> breathe. Remember to breathe. Yep. Always breathing. Always breathing. So guys, Jenna will be live tomorrow um, for her birthday stream at Epcot around 5.30 or 6. 
So be ready for tomorrow for a live stream with Jenna. One? One? Uh -oh. One? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yes, sir. That was easy. Japan had a good view for eliminations. It does. Well, for whatever fireworks you're watching, yes. It's too bad this isn't open later tonight. I think we'd get a ton of rides in, but that's all right. Been over a month since you're there. Oh, yeah, Louis. Has been a little while, hasn't it? Let me see if I can. There we go. Okay. I switch it to POV mode. There we go. That means that the gimbal will tilt with the ride. So it'll look really nice. Let's do this. Hello from Maine. Yeah, it's a walk on. If you get here quick enough after fireworks, you can do that. I'm sure it won't be a walk-on for the long. It's also a walk-on during fireworks. Filming the ride, always. Let's do this. Amy Moore, thanks for becoming a member.
Times. Oh, Amy said she re became a member. Okay, cool. All right, so 30, 38% battery, so we're good there for a minute. Let's see what the ride wait times are. I mean, Haunted says 15, but I bet it's longer now. No, we'll walk by it. Uh, what else can we do? I don't know. We'll see. Stay tuned. We'll walk by some things. Ha. Huh. Well, thanks for joining me for this awesome, fun evening here at Walt Disney World. <clears throat> and again, make sure to check our awesome sponsors. We got MickeyTravels.com for the best in free Disney vacation planning. MickeyTravels.com. So they obviously the the trip isn't free, but their advice and their their help planning the trip is free. It costs the same as if you book the trip by yourself through Disney's website, but they do all the hard work for you. MickeyTravels.com. Hey, Mr. Kerry Small. Petra says pirates. We did pirates though earlier. Um, I actually thought about it because it's a low weight, but I'd rather do something we haven't done yet tonight. So <clears throat> let's do. Let's do this. Ba -bum -ba -dum -bum -ba. Ghost Riders in the sky. Can you imagine if the trip was real? Everybody be calling it Mickey Travels. <laughs> Greg and Alyssa over there like, Josh, did you tell everybody that we were getting out free Disney trips? No, no, I didn't mean to. <laughs> Honest, I didn't. But it, a lot of people do think that having using a travel agent costs extra, and it actually is the opposite. At least if you're using one that's platinum earmarked or diamond. Is it diamond platinum? I don't know. They're like the highest level of travel agency through Disney. So Disney pays them. The re you know, you know, you might be asking, well, how can they do it for free? Well, Disney pays them commission. That's how they make their money. So, but they don't, they don't get money from you. They get money from Disney. Commission. So cool. Stream is so crystal clear. I feel like I'm there. <clears throat> Let's go see about Haunted Mansion. I will have to switch connections if that works, but we'll do it. We'll try it. I love the ghost riders in the sky. Jeremy's given all the suggestions. Hey, we'll see what happens. My mother has some experience as a travel agent. Most of the rides are open during the after hours, yes. <clears throat> during the Christmas party, I think everything's open. Except for like the riverboat and obviously Tom Sawyer Island's never open at night due to safety concerns, but you know. The normal evening rides are open. Like the rides that are open now during regular park hours would be open during Mickey's Very Merry. Okay. Anybody remember the old Space Mountain, Space Mountain TV? The little TV show that they used to play inside Space Mountain? Was it Mario Lopez, the host, or did I mess that up again? It was, I don't know, somebody that looked like or that reminded me of Mario Lopez was the host, a.k.a. Slater from Saved by the Bell. And he'd be like, your team is real close to blast off. And I'd be like, dude, you said that half an hour ago. <laughs> of course, it was just a looping TV show. But they did a Ghost Riders in the Sky montage with different, like, airplanes and rockets and things all right that gets your own christmas merch from resort tv one just go to shop.resorttv1.com it's the easiest way to find all of our merch shop.resorttv1.com oh that's good Ma michael i'm glad i'm glad this is helping you i just realized we had a paypal i didn't read it's wayne hey wayne 
Uh, let's see. $18 from Wayne. Last night, I saw on here a few days ago, Mickey and Company did only one song due to weather. They owed you tonight. That's true, Wayne. Thank you so much. Uh, you're right. They did do only one song due to weather. So, yep, tonight, we got the whole show. Let's see if that's the thing. It says 15. Let's try it. All right. Let's do a quick little switcheroo, friends. Stay tuned. Oh, this looks longer than 15. No, we'll see. back can you see there we go somebody said back hey Aaron appreciate you guys letting me know I just I'm never sure if it quite works or not when we switch around yep I and mean, you guys even if it's few, even if a few people say it it's good to, good to see it also um, I did repost the Candlelight Processional from last night. If you didn't see it, people asked for it as a separate video. Uh, I posted it this morning, so it, here it, it is on there. Uh, it doesn't have a ton of views right now because it's, you know, it's a replay type thing, but you're welcome to watch it whenever you want. Somebody posted this picture on Facebook. Apparently, John is not feeling very well on Carousel of Progress today. He's getting a little sleepy. He almost fell in his orange juice. You think we can all fit in one buggy? Okay, let's try. Yeah, this shouldn't take too long. Let's see, what do we want to do after this? Got an hour and 20 minutes. Peter Pan's pretty long as you might expect. We might be able to jump in Peter Pan right at the close. Uh, Winnie the Pooh's not too long. We could do that. We could even try. Could even try Little Mermaid if you want to be really adventurous. It's contemplating the meaning of life. But if you, you're showing you the progress, maybe he's a bit tired. That's true. That's true. It could be. It's not really moving. Candlelight video is great. Awesome. Goody mermaid. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, we're, in it, we're in it to win it now. I'm staying in line. Did you already do Jingle Cruise? Did you already do Jingle Cruise? Oh, yeah. Sorry, Canadian. Yes. Sorry, the guy's so loud. I can't even hear myself talk. Um, no, didn't do Jingle Cruise. It's too long. Uh, no, this fan, I haven't seen it. Yeah. Finley and I will be there in two weeks. Nice. How about Mind Train? Yeah, we'll see. I don't know. Uh, Jingle Cruise should be running. Hey, Blue Nose. Let's see. And Jingle Cruise is 60 right now. Yeah, so probably not going to do that one. But we did it on Wednesday. So I have a two hour video of snow on Main Street USA on the oh, channel. Well, then we could just oh, with Christmas music. So there you go. <laughs> Is it on YouTube? Yeah, it's Resort, oh, okay. T Resort TV One. It's the channel. <laughs> it's actually the real uh, Main Street USA music that plays out there. So made it for my family, but a lot of people like watching it. So. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> uh, Jeremy, four ninety nine. How long for pirates? So Jeremy, it's five minutes, but we did that one earlier. Yeah, pirates has been very low all day. <laughs> All right, guys. We're moving. Maybe if there's less lightning lanes, we won't have to wait as long. Sheila's watching from work. Very awesome. Speaking of Resort TV, thanks for the recommendation. My hot page is hot page, hot page, whatever you say it. Still working. Nice. <laughs> guys laugh, it's so funny. Close. Remind me after this to charge. All right. <laughs> so. <laughs> yeah, a lot of things are very low weight right now. Well, Space Mountain's back at 75 right now. It's been down for a long time. Saw the live processional, enjoyed the replay. That's awesome, Mark. Oh, me too, Amy. Thank you so much. It's a great community for sure. Going greatly. I missed most of last night. Is there a special Christmas light show? Um, I didn't get to see that last night. Maybe Jenna will show it on her stream tomorrow. Because <clears throat> remember, Jenna is going to be live for her birthday. Well, it's her birthday stream tomorrow. Her birthday is Monday, but close enough. Happy holidays from the artist community of Carrizozo, New Mexico. Mm -hmm. 
Well, that's interesting, random person. Guest vision. Must be the cable system they're using. Yeah, Michael is great, great processional. Very good. Yep, she's doing better, guys. She'll be 100% tomorrow for sure. Thank you for cutting the candlelight professional into its own video. Sure, Kevin. No worries. Though when I do that, it doesn't usually get a lot of views, but it's worth it to make it easier for people to watch it. I didn't enhance it at all. I just cut it. And it took me a little bit because I had to re-render it, but I couldn't, I couldn't do the... Um, Oh well, I couldn't do the uh, the replay thing. My brain is struggling to talk over the background noise, but yeah, you get the point. Yeah, that replay thing didn't work. One. Does Genie Plus carry over to the Christmas party? I don't think so. I don't think there's any Genie Plus during the day or during the Christmas party. Here we go, guys. Probably not going to make it in this one, but we'll see. Yeah, that wasn't too long. How long did we wait in line, guys? What, 10 minutes maybe? Wasn't bad. <laughs> Can you count all of you guys in the party? That's weird. Eleven minutes, yeah. Wait times are still pretty short at the Christmas parties for sure. Nineteen eighty eight, that was a good year. Bless you. Hi, 
I am your host. Are we still good? As they appear in Switcheroo worked. Okay, here we go. Oh. Do I know you? Do not okay. move out on the safety bar, please. I will roll it for you. And heed this warning. The spirits will materialize only if you remain quietly seated at all times. Oh yes, and no flash pictures, please. These spirits are frightfully sensitive to bright lights. first editions, only ghost stories and poems, <laughs> and marble busts of the greatest ghost writers the literary world has ever known. They have all retired here to the haunted mansion. Actually, we have 999 happy points here, but there's room for a thousand. Any volunteers? <laughs> if you should decide to join us, final arrangements may be made at the end of the tour.
and upon. Let there be music from regions beyond. Wizards and witches, wherever you dwell, give us a hint by ringing a bell. Serpents and spiders, hail the rat, all in the spirit of the have received your sympathetic vibrations and are beginning to materialize. They're assembling for a swinging wave. guy just like jumped in the car with me at the last second. I was like, oh, hello. <laughs> I guess he was with his family, but I didn't know that. They didn't say anything. So that was weird. <laughs> but whatever. I guess luckily he didn't, hopefully he didn't mind having the camera on. Okay. Well, let's see. Let's switch connections back. Just a quick little lag. Yeah, perfect stream. Good. I saw it blipped a little bit in the attic, but maybe maybe it didn't blip on your end. I hit zero in the attic for like three seconds or one second. 
Did you hear the do I know you? Oh, that's funny. All right, guys. Let's, uh, I'm going to pause for just a second. Hmm. Okay. Welcome back, friends. <laughs> I had a real hitchhiker. I did. It, was hitch it wasn't a hitchhiking ghost. It was a hitchhiking guy. <laughs> you can't see Mr. Toad back there, but he's here. Yes, I do need to plug in. Thank you for the reminder. All right. Oh, did it say pause? Did it, did it not even finish my sentence? Oh, well. I never know quite when it actually pauses. I waited a few seconds, but you know, it never, never works perfectly. All right. So where do we need to go now? We got just a little under an hour. It's been a really good Thanksgiving break. I'm really thankful. This year has been so much better than last year. My goodness. <laughs> last year was no bueno. This year was... Oh, you're good. This year was uh, much better. So far. <laughs> and I have every every belief that it will continue that way. I hope you are also having a great end of the year as well. I mean school year, I guess, when I talk about this year. School year. Alright. <clears throat> My friend that wasn't doing well last year is doing much better, even though he's had to move away for a different job. It's He's much, much uh, happier. There we go. All right. It's me smoking. Smoking in the Magic Kingdom. <laughs> so you guys have been that great so far as jobs go, but I have a great job now. Okay, Amy. Well, I'm glad it's good now. Thanks, Rich. You love Winnie the Pooh? Yeah, that's always a good one. I also like Winnie the Pooh. Okay, so let's see if we can look at the wait times here real, real quick. Small World's 10 minutes. I don't know if anybody's up for that or not. Wow, Thunder's still only 10 minutes. Love it. And Winnie the Pooh's 25 minutes. Like, why? I did not bring my chest mount for uh, Space Mountain, so we can't do that. Let me hold on. Let me fix the uh, exposure. There we go. I love this map. The Peter Pan is still 55. Yeah, I'm so glad, Amy. And we talked about Skyliner earlier. Of course, this used to be the Skyline Sky, not Skyliner Skyway. This used to be the Skyway station. Also, it's a Mickey Mouse balloon. Look. There you go. It's pretty fun. Sorry, it's hard to see. It's kind of crowded here, but. You get the point. Anybody up for Small World? Right. We do have, we haven't done Little Mermaid for a while. I guess that might be kind of fun. Let's do that. Yeah. Let's do Little Mermaid. And then we'll see what else we can do after that. Please no. <laughs> we'll save it for next time. How about that? We'll save it for next time. Let's go do Little Mermaid. We never do that. And we're just gonna we're just gonna live with the lag on Little Mermaid. Cause it does have lag, but <clears throat> we're okay with that. We are okay with that. Wait, Disney World Freak is coming? Oh, okay. Well, he can meet me after Little Mermaid, maybe. Where is he? Is he close? I saw he was here somewhere. I figured we'd meet up at some point. Let's see. Is he in the chat? Oh, wait for us. We're right. Okay, I'll wait for you, sure. I'll meet you there. All right. I just missed his message there. All right, Carlos, we'll we'll meet you there. Can you do the Can you do the Josh hustle? <laughs> Let's do Little Mermaid. We haven't ridden the carousel for a while either, but it's so beautiful at night. A beautiful moon out too, behind the clouds there. 
can't complain. Let's see, what else could we do? I mean, we could. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see what we feel like. I'm doing, I think I'd like to do one more ride on the Pete Mover. And then I think I'd like to, I don't know, we'll just see. I may just jump in Peter Pan last. I thought about, I thought about jumping on Mine Train last, but it's still an hour. It's a long time. I don't want to be home that late. And I kind of want a cookie, even though I'm <laughs> kind of my, my diet kind of went to, you know, whatever. But it's fine. I'll get back on it eventually. Look at this. Nobody here. Also, Josh, go to bed soon. Yeah, it's fine not to do Space Mountain because in space no one can hear you scream. That's true. Space Mountain people can hear you scream though. Or you can hear the you can hear the song. Listen. That's cool. Look at this. There's nobody on this bridge besides me right now, and those people that just passed. That's right, Nika. Thank you. Thank you for the the affirmation there. I appreciate it. I love this view back here. It's so good. Cool thing is I can take a picture of that and I can remove the people from it because Photoshop is amazing now. Carl says my knees aren't what they used to be. <laughs> Come on, man. You got this. Such a different crowd compared to last night. Yeah, for sure. All right, so. Oh, they're not streaming anymore. Yes, yeah, so I might just jump in Peter Pan. I'll do TTA and then Peter Pan. That's my thought process here. Where are you at, Carlos? We're waiting for Disney World Freak to get here. I don't know how far away he is. We might just go ahead and ride it. We'll see. If you're all the way on the other side of the park, I can meet you right after. It's up to you. Unless you're close. Oh, you're coming. Okay. Oh, yeah, I'm staying until 10. It's only 49 minutes. Hey, Kimberly. Watch out for Tinkerbell. This will lag, 100% it will, but it does okay. And the later at night you go, the better it does because the uh, there's less people in the park, so more signal to go around. More signal. Ah, oh, Julie, Julie picks, awesome. You got a new laptop and it came with Photoshop, yeah. Photoshop has this really cool AI um, image remove thing. Look at our thumbnail tonight. And there were people all over that picture, and I removed them all with the AI, uh, generative AI. And actually, um, what's interesting is you can only tell in a few places. The railing's a little crooked on the Christmas tree. Other than that, it's not bad. It's usually pretty peaceful back here in the back. But yeah, Dan, you're right, it's very peaceful. We got good stuff back here, just in case you're wondering. Pickles in a pouch. <laughs> actually, it doesn't sound bad. You were to remember that Ariel's mom was a redheaded mermaid in Peter Pan? I don't know. Hey, there he is. <laughs> I was wondering, I was like, I was like, okay, are you like on the other side of the park? No, you're just kidding. I walk fast. No. Oh. The women would drag him behind. Yeah, you're good. I was just giving you a hard time. Slower than snails. 
<laughs> you're good. Dad, so That's all good. I just I didn't want to hold you up. So. No, you're good. You guys ready to ride? Yeah, let's go on. Hold all on. right. The girl, we lost the girl. Oh, so. uh, mermaid. Okay. We, we lost the girl. We so. can meet him after. Yeah. The wife's knees are even worse than mine. So. Oh, really? <laughs> Yeah, my wife's dealing with the knee issue, but she actually had some injections in it, and that's been really helping, so. Really? Yeah. Let's see, uh, right here. Right here, yeah, we almost missed it. Yep. Yeah, this is actually crazy, because I thought this day would be much, much more crowded, but. You know, it was very light all day. We were here this morning, we rope dropped, yeah. left for lunch, and then came back, and it was still, you know, very It's very peaceful. Light. Even like 20 minutes before fireworks, I got a spot way up on Main Street. Yeah, it was like there was some, the whole street was almost empty. I was right in the middle, right in between the, the plaza and the, uh, what do you call it? Emporium? Oh, Casey's. Oh, Casey's. oh, Casey's, yeah. I usually stand right in the middle, like by the center street there, but this time I stood just past the ice cream parlor, right. so. Usually there's no signal up there, but it was tonight. Oh, that's, yeah, right, that's where it was. Right where they had the opening for the path. Yeah. I'm like, oh, this is perfect. Once this is done, we can, you know, scoot to Adventureland. Oh, yeah. Do I hear a New York accent or Massachusetts? Uh, <laughs> yes, Massachusetts. There you go. You do. <laughs> Somebody else was, uh, we're trying to guess where you were from. Yeah. <laughs> that's funny. You remember a long time ago we had this whole discussion about which, which states were New England? Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, I don't know, I'm from Indiana. I know I'm from the Midwest, I know that. I kept saying New York was in New England and the New England people were like, we don't claim them. Yeah. That was too funny. People got like angry. <laughs> uh, it was funny. I would say Florida is like south of the south, like Georgia and Alabama and Mississippi, Louisiana, those are the south and then Florida is south of that. <laughs> All right, let's see guys. I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do here. We'll see. Oh, it's going to it's going to die, but I'll see y'all at the end. <laughs> That's the way it goes. Ugh. One thing about this uh the weather is that I charge up pretty quick when it's when it's cool like this. It's a beautiful yeah. I mean, we still have all this week to go. We just got hit Thursday. We've been having this weird misty rain, but it finally yeah. kind of quit. That's because it's, it's not enough to really even get a number allowed. It's just annoying. Yep. <laughs> but it luckily went away. People from New England could never be pirates. What? I don't understand. <laughs> we don't pronounce our arms. Oh, got it. Yeah. Well, that makes sense now. How long are you guys here for? Until that's it. Okay. Oh, that's right. You said that. I had the, uh, I had the um, chat going on too. So I saw a little bit of the road trip, but yeah, I wasn't sure. Yeah. It was not a fun road trip. No. What? Just a lot of traffic, or? Yeah. We usually have problems. We would come from Indiana. We'd get stuck in Atlanta every time. I'll say Connecticut. 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 Ah. We used to... Um, yeah, we used to try and hit Atlanta at night, and then it was pretty good, usually. Try to hit D.C. after 9 p.m. Oh, that's, that's good. Kind of figuring it was a walk on. We'll see. We'll see. Enjoy the ride. Okay, here we go. Enjoy, guys. See how far we make it through here. Ariel fell in love with a human. Then 
in the normal spots. You too. And so right by the first aerial that always lags because you're you're basically underground there. And then right by um, Ursula. So other than that it's pretty good. Yay. That's awesome Amy. Yeah I, I was watching it. It actually worked a, on the descent it worked a lot longer than I thought it would so that's pretty good. <laughs> Yeah, I was. 
Yeah, we usually right by the first aerial and then by Ursula, because you're kind of in a tunnel there. Once you come out in the under the sea, you're more out in the open. But yeah, it was it worked better than I thought it would for sure. All right, guys. I, oh, it really does. No, it totally helps with the lower crowd. I notice Haunted Mansion works better when there's less crowd too. That's true. True. People don't understand. More people on the uh, tower yes. pulls the signal right. down. Of course it does. So. All right. I'm gonna let you get to your. Well, I was gonna say, you guys. Stream. Well, I'm next. Uh, next up is People Movers. So I don't know where the rest yeah, of your crew did, is. They're, but they're at that lantern light thing. They're holding. You know, oh, they're doing the picture. Time, yeah, she's never done one with a dog. Oh, okay. Hi, everybody. Well, <laughs> everybody say hi to Carlos. Do a little freak in the chat. Yep. In the chat. He's a mopper in the chat. Uh, but more importantly, a friend of Josh. You know, well, of course. And remind me your name, buddy. Ethan. Ethan, that's right. I knew it, but it just like it couldn't come to mind Josh for a second there. A yeah. <laughs> a little more coming up. Well, little your dad, your dad's in the chat more than you are. So. Yeah. <laughs> He's busy playing games. Bro. Busy playing games. Yeah, no, so. A lot more often. I mean, we're here the rest of the week, so I'm sure. Oh we'll yeah, see for you. sure. Well, Jen is at Epcot tomorrow. For her birthday stream, so that's right. Her birthday's the day before mine. That's yeah, right. her birthday's Monday, but she's doing it. You know, the stream tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. This is the twenty-seven. You're twenty-eight. I am twenty-eight. Okay. Yeah. Very cool. All right. She's at Epcot tomorrow. She's at Epcot tomorrow for her birthday. Yeah. Hollywood, but then Jan said she wanted to hop over to Epcot at night, so we'll see Jenna. Michaela was asking for Jenna. So. Oh, there you go. Yeah, that'd be great. And I'd love to see mom and dad, and I know they're always with her. They're usually with her. Yeah. yeah so. All right, well, Josh, you have a good night, my friend. Yeah, you too. Take your hand. We're yeah, set up of the course. Uh, <laughs> go finish up the night, and I'm going to go try to find the wife and maybe get a Casey's hot dog. There you go. I was going to say, people oh, move her a Coke and a cookie. That's I, my agenda right now. right now. I need a hot dog. You know, sometimes a foot long at 930 is a good, is a good thing. <laughs> Don't tell the cardiologist that, but yes. That doesn't count at Disney. He's you're fine. Me, so. You're good. <laughs> Josh, have a good night. See you, buddy. See you later. Oh, it's okay to have a foot long while you're at Disney. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, that was cool. I'm glad that that worked out. I'm glad to see Carlos and glad to um, be able to get a mostly working ride on Little Mermaid. That's pretty much how it goes. But yeah, the later at night we go, the better the signal. It's funny, though, because I wouldn't, you know, I'm sure there's some physics behind it, but you would think that more people on a tower would make less bandwidth available, but you wouldn't think it would, it, you wouldn't think it would hurt signal in uh, you know lower frequency areas but i guess it makes sense look at that like literally nobody it is so dead right now beautiful shot well i could take the tron path let's do that i like that idea let's take the tron path it's a little longer but i think it'll be worth it not that much longer okay let's see this girl's like getting it <laughs> all right <laughs> you got to entertain yourself somehow when nobody's coming through your line oh the mansion's 13 now all right Yeah, it's good to see Carlos for and Ethan for a bit. Now it'll be fun to go through. I was like walking around through Tron. We're not gonna ride it because of course we don't have a pass for it, but that's okay. Liam loves this ride so much. Like literally if he was here tonight, he would ride it over and over and over and over. He loves it. It's so great that the train's back open. I know it's been for a while, but so great that this area back here is fully working, that this path is open and the train is open. It was so long closed for Tron. Do you still recommend Genie Plus? If you're on vacation here, 100% yes. It's an added cost for sure, but I was gonna get it today because it was so uncrowded that the, the times for Genie Plus were really quick. Like, you know, it was like two o'clock and you could get a bunch of stuff for three, you know, so it was very, very quick turnaround. So if you have, if the Genie Plus is working like that, you know, you can do a bunch of rides real quick because you don't have to wait that long between them. But um, for me, it was $27 today at Magic Kingdom. That's just a lot. So I didn't. 
And I thought, oh, Tron had individual lightning lanes left, but I mean, that was $20 just for one ride. I cannot justify $20 for a minute and a half ride. So yeah, for, for me, no, but for everybody else, yes, totally worth it. If you're on vacation, worth it. This is really cool. Disney knocked it out of the park with this. I know it's a Shanghai too, but it's a little different here. Look at that moonshot. Just gorgeous architecture. Also, I'm almost basically by myself down here. Look at that. I love that curve. Oh yeah, T-Cal for sure. I, I love riding this ride, but I don't, like I said, I didn't get a virtual queue for it today. I didn't want to pay 20 bucks for it. So yeah, so I can't, just to make sure everybody's on the same page, you can't just go get in line for this ride. Guys, if I could just go get in line for Tron, I'd 100% do it. But they don't have a standby line for Tron, so you have to either get a virtual queue or you have to pay for an individual lightning lane. And by the time for the seven o'clock virtual queue in the morning, um, you can get it from home. But for the two o'clock one, for the later times, which I was gonna be here later, I wasn't gonna be here in the morning. For the two o'clock redistribution, you have to be in the park. So that, that's why we can't ride it. All good. I would, 100%. I mean, I could always play the video of it for you, but I know that's not as much fun as if I actually ride it. Like, I, I can put the video on BRB, but I know it's better if we actually ride it. What a fun night. Hey, Ken, yeah, it is a great area at night. I'm overall really happy with the way this ended up. I will say there's a lot going on here now in Tomorrowland. There's a lot of motion. That's the whole point of tomorrow, right? A lot of things need to be moving and going. And you've got Tron back there with the lights and stuff. You've got people mover moving, like everything speedway cars it's all moving it's great haunted mansion at a 13 minute wait just like tower of terror means walk on uh those rides they just they put the wait time at 13 because it's like a quote unquote spooky ride so 13 is the spooky unlucky black cat crossing your path number oh space mountain's broken again man it it's been down almost the whole day wow We did the virtual queue at 7 a.m., then drove five hours to the park. Got there an hour before our number was called. Wow. And sometimes, I will say that's, <clears throat> it's risky. Now, usually they'll let you ride late, but it's risky because if you grab it at 7, you might get called very quickly if you're really quick on the trigger with the app. And you might get called very, very quickly. And then, you know, you miss your time. <clears throat> that's why I never grab the morning ones because I'm rarely here in the morning. Love your streams and happy Saturday. Thanks, Kristen. Yeah, Jenna is feeling better. And she'll be out live tomorrow for her birthday tomorrow. Or, well, her birthday's Monday, but you know what I mean. All right, let's go do the people mover. And we'll see what else we can ride after this. We'll have time to do one more thing after this. I kind of want to do Peter Pan, but I don't know. We'll see what the line looks like. It's a little random people mover line that just built up from no from nowhere. Why, why did there just a random line for people move everything else is a walk on? What the heck? <laughs> I don't get it. Sorry. I probably shouldn't say what the heck. I just, you know, it's a reflex. And the, uh, the crowd level in January can be anything, literally can be really busy or really, really, um, <laughs> it can be really busy or it could be really, um, really uncrowded, <clears throat> really relaxed, I guess, really slow. So, like right after the holiday, it's absolutely, um, 
Because around the holidays, it's going to be busy. But besides that, um, and besides that, it's not too bad. Then there's a Run Disney event in January around Martin Luther King Day. The Martin Luther King Day is very busy because a lot of people have a three-day weekend, so people make a whole week out of it sometimes. There's a lot going on. It's just part of it. I know that was a very, like, meandering answer, but you get the point. January, there's very slow times in January. Like, the second week of January, very slow. Third week until Martin Luther King Day, usually pretty slow. Hi. Of course. Oh, uh, thanks for saying hi. Yes, happy to be behind you. That's awesome. Happy birthday. Uh, I actually got on it earlier, but I wanted one more. Oh, good. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Yeah, it was down for a little while. Yeah, it was. For sure. Take care. Thanks. See you on the stream. Did you guys want to say hi on the stream? Oh, no, that's okay. Okay, what were you? Busy. Oh, you're good. Not at all. We're just riding the ramp now. What, what are your names? Lucy and John. Nice to meet you guys. Where are you from? St. Louis. Okay. Not far. I used to, I grew up in Vincennes, which was just three hours east. Like literally due east on US 50. That was exactly. we used to go over there for field trips in school. Oh, did you really? Yeah, we did the arch and we did some of the museums and yeah, yeah they do. It was fun. Yeah. So we're hoping to be Floridians one day. Well, there you go. Oh, yeah, you know the websites, Resort TV One Homes. <laughs> yeah, we'll help you out. <laughs> you too. Enjoy the rest of your trip. All right, guys. I got the quality all the way up. Hopefully it looks good. <clears throat> I usually don't have it all the way up, but it's not very crowded. Except for this one ride for some reason. <laughs> so funny. Usually this time of night it's a walk on. Part of it was probably because Space Mountain was down. Looks great, awesome. <laughs> Looks great, Bob, right? <laughs> Almost there. It is the best ride, that's true, Bit Ritz. <laughs> Thanks, Dave. I'm super excited for some videos coming up on the Retro Channel. They may not come out for a little while, but finally got all my parts that I needed to fix all the laptops that I need to fix, so that's going to be super fun. One. Thank you. I'm super excited to get fixing stuff. I'm nervous because these old laptops are kind of brittle, so I'm nervous about breaking plastic, but hopefully I'll be, I'll be gentle enough. Anyway, that'll all be on Retro TV One Tech. Legs and other appendages inside your car, and please supervise younger beings. All right, enjoy the ride, guys. Stay clear of the doors, which will open and close automatically. Enjoy your journey. Oh yeah, we should go see Bob sometime. I don't know why we haven't done it. Please step carefully onto the moving platform, then step into the car. For your safety, remain seated at all times, keeping your hands, arms, feet, legs, and other appendages inside your car. And please supervise younger beings.
stay clear of the doors, which will open and close automatically. Enjoy your journey. Para su seguridad, permanezca sentado y mantenga sus manos, brazos, pies y piernas dentro de la mesa. Uh, RJ, you're right, you're right. <laughs> He's a technical all the rides are walking, it just matters how many times you it just depends on how many times you walk, stop, walk, stop. <laughs> Enjoy guys. This is the TTA Greetings, intergalactic travelers. Welcome aboard the People Moon, presented by Enterprise. I'm Morak Five, your guide aboard this highway in the sky. The absolute best way to see Tomorrowland. And my stars, is there ever lots to see? From spacecraft to monster lands, there's really nothing like today in Tomorrowland. For your safety, if you have wings, jetpacks, or gravity polarizers, please do not take flight well on board. Thank you. The next station is Tomorrowland Urban Planning and Star Traders. Transfer to Green and Red Lines. Don't worry, your express train keeps on rolling through the future. Right by two of my favorite spots. First up, Progress City, Walt Disney's amazing dream for a community of tomorrow. Did you know Progress City inspired Epcot? And a lot of the visionary ideas throughout Walt Disney World. Look, there's even a tiny people mover. I wonder if that means there's a tiny people. On your right is Star Traders, home to the greatest goods in the galaxy. Except actual stars. Those are the owners. Now approaching Tomorrowland Speedway and Tron Light Cycle Run. I love a good circuit. And these are two of the best tracks of the cosmos for a bit of light, speedy competition. Or did the guy on the announcement tell everybody to clock out? Did you guys hear that?
Mr. Morrow. Mr. Tom Morrow. Please contact Mr. Johnson in the control tower to confirm your flight to the moon. Thank you. Attention all visitors from Galaxy M31. Please keep forward-facing tentacles clear of oncoming vehicles. Thank you. of progress. As usual, and so does the carousel. Like progress itself, this theater never stops, inspiring new generations to dream of a great, big, beautiful tomorrow. on the gimbal on accident. <laughs> so I think I'm going to go check uh, Peter Pan next, but Peter Pan's too busy. I can maybe do Winnie the Pooh. We'll see. Please keep arms, antennae, and other appendages away from the doors and remain seated until they open automatically. Step onto the moving platform with caution. Yeah, I can unplug the charger anyway. Away from the car. Going on it. Thank you. There we go. All right, let's do it. Please keep on yeah, it sounded like the cast member uh, that was doing announcements on Space Mountain said, "Clock out." Did you guys hear that on Space Mountain? It sounded like the announcement said, "Everybody, clock out." It just sounded like that as it was a lights run. That was kind of funny. <laughs> That's pretty cool to do. A lot of times when it's broken down, they'll have the lights on, so I figured it might be. But yeah, I figured that they said, if they did say that, it's probably because, okay, there's only you know, 10, 15 minutes left, we're not gonna be able to fix it, you know? So everybody, everybody can go home now. <laughs> Hey guys, 
<laughs> it's my fault. <laughs> you guys didn't hear any announcements. Maybe it was just audible inside the park, and I might, I might, I got in there a little bit before you guys did, so I might have been able to hear it more. It was just fading out there at the end. All right, I was going to do Peter Pan. I'm going to see what it looks like. It says 55, but we'll see. If not, we'll we'll do some. We'll do one of these other things. Winnie the Pooh's five. I don't know. Wow. Mine train's only 45. I don't know. Maybe we'll do that. Uh, we'll see. Yeah, you guys too. Have a good one. Bye. Am I clocking out? No, I'm not clocking out. I'm not clocking out. <clears throat> Let's walk by Mine Train and see what it looks like, and maybe we'll do Peter Pan. I need to put in headphones and rewind again. Yeah, it might be more obvious on headphones. I'm not sure. All right. I can't ride Tron because I don't have a virtual queue. So if you're not familiar with the way that Tron works, uh, it's an amazing ride, but it doesn't have a regular line. Disney's been doing that with a lot of their newer stuff. Guardians of the Galaxy and Tron both are doing it this way, where you can't just go get in line for it. Now, Rise of the Resistance was like that for a while, and they've changed it now to where you can just go get in line for it. Uh, and the lines do get long, but it's manageable. So, but for... Um, for Tron, you have to get a virtual queue or pay for an individual lightning wing. Yeah, we'll do cookie time here in just a minute. We've got nine minutes. We can ride one more thing. It's amazing how quick it cleared out tonight. Almost 2,000 people still watching. Thanks, guys. So, I got the um, quality way up, so you guys let me know if... Uh, you guys let me know if it lags at all. I'm sorry, guys. I, I uh, definitely, definitely, um, <laughs> I definitely keep saying things and then kind of get distracted by something somebody else is yelling or saying. So I apologize if I've been distracted tonight. I should just be quiet if I don't know what to say. Somebody at home's going, yes. <laughs> So I have an actually, you're almost right. This is cool. For staying at a resort, you can get an individual lightning lane starting at seven. Everybody, regardless of where you're staying, can get a virtual queue starting at seven. But the individual lightning lanes open up to only resort guests at seven. Everybody else has to wait until the park opens. Oh, I'm so glad, Laura. So glad you guys enjoy being here with me. Cheshire Cat with his mischievous little grin. Yeah, those tree projections were new. That was kind of cool. They were little spirals. I liked it. Let's just see what Mine Train looks like. Let's see how far out it is. I've got a pretty good gauge on how long it takes based on how far out it is. It's still pretty long. Uh, it's not bad. Honestly, not that bad. You don't want to risk missing the cookie. We never get to ride this. Oh, what the heck? Let's let's go do it. It might lag. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do mine train. If I miss the cookie, I miss the cookie. I got till 10.30 to get a cookie. Why, why, why? Why, why is this parking here? What? It's like a blockade. <laughs> it literally just blocked the whole road with strollers. I'm so confused. Excuse me. I was going to do Peter Pan, but it looks like it's longer. And I don't, by the time I walk all the way over there, this one's going to be longer. Also, starting at 10 o'clock, they're not going to accept any more lightning lanes for this, so it will move fast, I think. All right, I got in line at 9.54. Let's see how long it takes. I bet it will not be very long. It's definitely not going to be 45 minutes. Let me uh, turn down the bit rate, though, so we're not pushing it too hard. It's very, very, very dark back here. I'll just look up. 
Yeah, oh yeah, I've waited way back here before. Right? It's a weird. I thought I was walking all the way in. Oh wow. Well. Excuse me. Apologies. But no, they won't kick you out. They won't kick you out. Okay, I thought, I thought the line stopped back there. <clears throat> here we go. We're going this way. Uh, this is on low light setting. Yeah, this is a, about as good as a phone will do. But I'm sure the next model will be even better. Yeah, this isn't bad at all. We're already in the mine. Yeah, Ivan, it usually is like 85 minutes. <clears throat> How long? Uh, I mean, like today or a period? I mean, like, oh, today we started at like 5.30. Yeah. Well, we've been doing, I've been doing streams since like 2017 here in the parks. Just for fun. <laughs> yep. YouTube. YouTube. Yeah. Oh, yep. That's super awesome. It's called uh, Resort TV One if you ever want to look it up on YouTube. Yeah, just type in resort and it'll come up as a suggestion. So what are you on streaming next after tonight? My sister uh, my sister does the channel with me, so she'll be streaming tomorrow. You said resort TV one? Yeah, it looks like this. Uh, let me see. There you go. Looks like that. Oh, wow. Yeah, we've been doing it for a while. It's super fun. I'm a teacher. That's my normal job, but this is kind of like second job now. <laughs> so, where are you guys from? Uh, actually, just about three hours, you know, right across the state. We're not across the state, but um, Tampa. Oh, Tampa. Okay. I used to live in Lakeland, and now I live closer here. So. Oh, that's great. Everybody in the chat says hi. <laughs> <laughs> you want to say hi on the street, on camera? Sure, yeah. What's your name? My name is Brayden, and I'm drinking Powerade, and I say hi. There you go, Powerade. It's uh, a good yeah. thing. What is that? What is that hashtag? Hashtag? Yeah. Oh, hashtag all the Disney thrills. Hashtag all the Disney thrills. All right, that's awesome. This is from uh, when Tron opened. They invited us to the media event. Really? So we got to ride Tron like nine times in a row. Oh, man. Uh, so then they gave me this cool backpack. So Yeah, Tron actually yesterday was the first time she ever rode a roller coaster. And really? Like period? She went through all stages, like all seven stages of grief, and I ended up loving it. Well, it's only about a minute long, so you don't have too long to pass out, right? Oh, no, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so she did pass out. Did you like it? Uh, it was fun, yeah. And she was like, I hated that, and then she started crying, and then she started like... like and then you liked it. Like, yeah. And then she was like, wait, actually, I, I kind of liked it. And I'm like, what did you just say? And she's like, I actually really enjoyed that. And I'm like, so, you just told me you hated it. That's how my son was with roller coasters. We rode Barnstormer for the first time. He's seven. And he goes, oh, that was scary. And he goes, but I actually want to do it again. I was like, yeah, you do. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, if you can ride Tron, you can do Space Mountain. It's a lot slower. It's about... A Tron hits almost 60 miles an hour. Space Mountain's about half that. No, yeah, I just, I won't do rock and roll coaster. No, that one's a little faster than Tron. It's still fun, though. It's super smooth. So, I don't know. Rock and roller coaster is actually probably, I don't know, besides Guardians, it's probably my favorite. I love rock and roller coaster. Oh, yeah. Well, hey, thanks for letting me know. Yeah. No worries. Do you ever want to drop that on a ride? Uh, no. <laughs> well, okay, wait, one time. on space. They don't let us stream Space Mountain anymore without a... I have to put a chest mount on. Oh, really? I put the phone and take the phone off the gimbal and put it in a chest mount. But one time on Space Mountain, I, I turn off the gimbal, and I had a hold of it like this, and somehow my hand hit the, the clip on the phone. The phone comes out on the ride, and I went, and I caught it. Oh, man. I was like, That's okay, awesome. that would have been really expensive. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that would have been terrible. Because this is like... I. Oh yeah, well, 
This is like an S23 Ultra, so you know, like it's an expensive phone to, to fall on the ground. <laughs> yeah, and I'd have to buy a new phone. Because <laughs> I'm sure even if Disney found it, it wouldn't work anymore, I'm sure. <laughs> Oh, uh, that's a good one. Yeah. Yo, yeah. Did it get it back or? Oh, you found it. Did, did he have a case on it? No. Well, that's pretty crazy. <laughs> did it still work? Wow, that's crazy. Well, he still has it. <laughs> so, that's yeah. pretty crazy. Yeah, usually they're pretty strict about you not having phones on those Bush Gardens rides. Right. Like, I think those rides they'll let me uh, GoPro, but they won't let you hold a phone usually. <laughs> oh, for sure. Yeah. I haven't done it for a long time. I streamed Bush Gardens years ago before the cell signal was very good. So it lagged the whole time. So now I think it'll probably be better now. But it was like 2017. I'm sure the signal's better now. Right. Yeah. It hasn't gotten much better. Oh, the signal's not very good. I mean, I have AT&T and T-Mobile, so I can switch back and forth. But, but um, yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Hey, crazy Disney lady, how are you? She says I love chatting with guests. That's right. <laughs> it's live, y'all. <laughs> Love it. So, did you hear that they have a ballroom in the castle? Yeah, they do. It's a restaurant. Have you ever been in there? I have. Yeah, you can get reservations for it. It's kind of hard. You got to get them way ahead of time. But no, you can. Sometimes, if it's not busy, you can walk up to it and ask them if they have any walk-ons for the day. Every once in a while, but no, you can go in there. It's not cheap, but you can you can eat there. <laughs> yep. Did you stream it too? Or? Uh, no. I wouldn't usually stream a dinner because I'm not big on like people watching me eat. Yeah, right. <laughs> so that's not, I don't know. From streaming to mukbang, that'd be a Mukbang, yeah, no. I mean, you know, I, I some people do. I just, I'm not, I get weird about it. I'm like, oh, there's probably food in my teeth or something. <laughs> <laughs> Tanya, it's good to see you. <laughs> what I would do is I would like, you know, I'd stream the inside so people can see and then, you know, I'd put it on pause to see. There you go. That'd be, a, that'd be one way to do it. I usually vlog those kind of things. That's really cool though, yeah. Yeah. To meet you. I'll oh, you too. Oh, absolutely. Thanks. <laughs> All right, so Tanya, good to see you tonight. And, uh, oh, yeah, it's fun. Tanya, you do way better than the, uh, than me with the, uh, the, the eating streams. I, I, I get all weird about it. You're super, you're super chill about it. I love it. I always get all like awkward. <laughs> anyway, everybody knows Tanya. If you don't, you should definitely go say hi to her on her channel the next time she goes live. Okay, so it's 10 o'clock, so there shouldn't be any more lightning lanes, so we should move pretty quick now. Opie one Kenopi. <laughs> Like we have to eat. That's true, Tanya. That is true. I do it sometimes, but I'm just like, I'm weird. Weird and awkward. <laughs> oh, yeah. Always good to have good conversations, though. For sure, Tanya. I don't usually ride this ride, but it's like the line wasn't that long, so I figured I'd try it. Hey, Goofy Magic. Yeah, he was excited that I was doing this. Somebody said Ron was sending his people over. He's so nice. I'm also super awkward on camera. Bit Ritz, you, you were you were fine whenever we I met you and, and Xavier. Of course, Xavier stole the show. I think. Dapper Dan's watching. 
This is how I also ride uh, Flight of Passage because you just get in like one minute before the park closes and then the uh, lightning lanes <clears throat> will, will be gone pretty soon. They don't allow them anymore after a while. We saw Ron last night. That was funny. I got right in front of him and it's like, is this a good spot? <laughs> if you miss it, you have to go watch his stream. I, he was standing there waiting for Beacon of Magic and I literally just stood right in front of his camera. I was like, is this okay here? <laughs> Oh yeah, Doreen. Yeah, it's kind of hard to tell which queue this is, isn't it? Unless you see the diamonds. He does steal the show, that's right, Bit Rates. What's well, Liam's big request for Christmas present? Well, what he really wants, I can't, you know, I can't afford, but uh, he really wants the Optimus Prime Transformer that transformed by itself. That's like seven hundred dollars. Um, but uh, besides that, <laughs> uh, he does want some Transformers and uh, just I don't know, lots of cool stuff. He's got a good list: some building stuff, some Legos. He getting a little bit of everything. Just in case he ever is watching the stream, I have to be careful about what. Or if he ever watches the replay, I have to be careful not to say what his presents are. But he's getting some good stuff. He's asking Santa for some things too. It's good to be on this side of the camera and see that it's not bad. It's not bad waiting in the queue. Absolutely, Tanya. Not too bad. I usually avoid queues a lot of times too, but at the end of the night, I'll grab one because this one they'll move pretty fast. I am hoping, Tanya, to get to Starbucks so I can get my cookie <laughs> by 10.30. Because you know you only have 30 minutes to get in there. Tanya, I hope the family's doing well. I hope you and your kids and your husband had a great Thanksgiving. I love It's a Small World. Love Magic Kingdom. That's awesome, Delaney. Oh, so of course I'll say hi to you. Hello, Jay Page. Yeah, that's like the end of the line right there, guys. Did you start Liam on trains yet? Oh, yeah, he loves playing with trains. We, we keep the trains at Dad's house right now, Mom and Dad's. Actually, that train set, part of the train set Dad had, I actually um, had at my house, but I gave it back to him because he was wanting to use it. It was a Christmas present a long time ago. All right, let's see if it lags in here. I don't remember. Finding streamers online at Disney is my favorite activity. That's awesome. All right, guys, let's give the barrel a, sc give the barrel a spin. Here we go. Whoa. It's dopey. <laughs> and Doc. You guys have a lot of leftovers? Nice. <laughs> we did, and I hope you and your family had a wonderful Thanksgiving as well. Thanks, Tanya. I wonder if I can get... Let's see, I'm just going to turn the quality down a little bit and see if I can get through this without doing Wi-Fi. It's always awkward because you have to jump off of Wi-Fi right when you get on the train. I think I can do it without Wi-Fi. We'll see. Slot cars are fun. He does have a Mario Kart slot car. Hello from a Disney family in California. Hello. So far it's holding steady. I don't plan on cooking for at least another day. <laughs> So, by the way, this is one of Liam's favorite rides. We had some special Disney magic one time. I can't even say really what it was, but it was, uh, let's just say some special Disney magic. <clears throat> and um, we got to ride this several times in a row. And Liam loved it. <clears throat> then we came back to the park one time. He's like, can we ride this? Like a couple times. I was like, well, <laughs> unfortunately, the special Disney magic we had was only one time but it was still fun 
Oh, Dapper Dan, this line's moving faster than it ever does because... All right, I put on the Wi-Fi. <laughs> you win, lag, you win. <laughs> Has a nice phone, ultra dual SIM, yep. Just looked up that Optimus Prime, very cool, however not, $700 cool, yeah, for sure. Yeah, Mr. Carey Small, I love the end of the ride. It looks like the end of the ride in the cottage looks like the scene from the original Snow White Dark Ride. All right, we're good now. So tell me, let's see, there we go. So tell me if the signal's good now. Oh, we got uh, Mr. Kerry Small sent $15 on PayPal. Enjoying the stream today. Enjoying your next cookie and coke on me from Mr. Kerry Small. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Oh, Dom, uh, Dom sent me about five or seven emails. Dom, you gotta, you gotta tone the emails down, buddy. <laughs> He's a, he's a viewer. He doesn't chat in the chat, but he sends me a bunch of emails sometimes. So. Uh, I just don't have a lot of time to answer emails, unfortunately. But I'd love for you to be in the chat. I mean, clear, clear since we switched to Wi-Fi. Okay, good. I'm going to try and switch out of Wi-Fi before we get on the train. Hey, Carrie. Jenna's feeling better. She's going to be live tomorrow at Epcot. She's already got the stream up. I'm going to make it public. It's private right now. I'm going to make it public right as I'm ending. Yep, Jenna was just a little under the weather for a while, but she's better now. I'm just wondering if you've heard any information about when Tiana's book, Bayou, I can't talk, Bayou's opening. Not yet. One. One. We're going to stay to the left down this way, friends. How many here? Five. Five. We're going to stay down this way, left side, all the way down. All right, she told me to go left. <laughs> Ooh, we, got, we got a little fast pass there. Disney Fran, 199. Hello from Massachusetts, Carrie and Fran. Thanks, Carrie and Fran. Wow. This must be the odd side of the line. I don't know. She said go left, so I went left. <laughs> I don't know anything. Yeah, I actually have no idea how to this works. Yeah. Oh, they got the air conditioning on in here. I always love it when my uh, rock formations. What's that? I just dreamed this ride. Oh, yeah. Yep. Not too hard. Yeah, I just have to put it in uh, what I call POV mode, where I, I, um, oh, well, I wasn't supposed to do that, but you know, see if I can do it again. There we go. So now it, it'll 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 turn and twist with the coaster. So that's kind of fun. No, this ride they don't. Space Mountain, they're a little weird about it. I just put my little wrist strap on, and it's not going anywhere. I guess so long as you say, hey, look, you know, this is strapped to my hands, and they can't really give you too many points. Right? They're usually pretty good, plus I've done it a lot, so they, I'm fairly sure-handed. I've only almost lost one once. <laughs> and uh, how'd you get that thing? The gimbal? Yeah. I sell them on Amazon. Really? It's like 70 bucks. It's not expensive. It's just, yeah, I've got, I've got a few of them. Because you can't really do a stream with just holding your phone. Number one, people get sick, and number two... It's actually easier to hold just this than try and hold the phone. Have you ever tried streaming any of the rides that require glasses? Yeah, there's a couple ways to do that. Number one, just hold the glasses in front of it. Number two, there's some lenses you can buy that clip on. Really? Yep. Oh, really? Oh, I mean, I'm not sure. I was just pointing out the thermostat on the side of the rock, and as I said, I love it when my, the, our caves have uh, thermostats. It's always nice, you know. 
and keep your cave at room temperature. Ah, maybe. Oh yeah. Depends on how far down you go, but yeah, that's true. The coldest one probably that I went to was Mammoth Cave in Kentucky. That was pretty cold down there. I also suppose it depends on how many people are in the True. That is true. That's, that's true. Hey, how are you? <laughs> uh, seven. All right, here we go, guys. Let's do this. All right, I need to um, see if I can switch out a Wi-Fi. Hold on, guys. There we go. Yeah, that should work. I think we're good. Fingers crossed, guys. Oh, yeah, if you want to check out our Christmas merch, it's on shop.resorttv1.com. We're back. Okay, good. Yeah, because the Wi-Fi will definitely die when you get out of the cave here. So I always try and turn it off before. It's a little tip for anybody who wants to stream this. That's a good idea. <laughs> I don't. I don't need one usually. <laughs> I got. I got short hair. <laughs> All right, guys, enjoy the ride. Oh, I'm sorry. Wait. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry about that. There we go. My bad. <laughs> There we go. Push up. Yep. And just make sure we're keeping that in touch. Okay? Oh, yeah. Push up. 23 minutes. That's not bad. We still have time to go get a cookie. Maybe. You guys are blind on the stream too? Alright. Yeah, we did pretty good on that. Just a little bit of lag in the cave there. Not bad. Alright, let's see. I love this scene. Let's zoom a little bit.
cool to see the way they've got those things in there. It's like it's like all the dancers are on a track. So cool. Oh, there's the Wicked Witch. <laughs> I think that was worth it. Hopefully you guys saw most of that. All right, let me get out of here. Super fun. We never get to ride that. Oh, foot stuck. There we go. Bigfoot over here. Thank you. All right, hold on, guys. Let me click. Oh, Lagalicious. There we go. And we're back. It's just a little lag coming out of the coming out of the place there. Should be good now. Honestly, the phone does pretty well switching up between all the signals that it has to deal with. Best streams on that ride. That's cool. AT&T for the win. I used to not have AT&T on my Samsung, so that's what the biggest benefit, I think. Okay, we have nine minutes to get through the castle, down to Starbucks. Almost no lag. Yeah, it just lagged a little bit in right by a uh, uh, dock when they were singing Hi Ho. But otherwise, it was pretty good. Great choice, great ride. Now get that cookie. Let's go get that dino. Just kidding. Okay, here we go. Nine minutes, let's go. <laughs> Look at that. I love seeing this at night with hardly any people. Okay. I can't stay around too long though, I've gotta go. Well, they're trying to get us out of here. The park is closed. Closed, closed, closed. <clears throat> and the line didn't go too far behind me because there, there, there were just a few people behind me. So a few more trains and they'll be done. Carousel. Um, so Jad Hole, I can't go on. That was my last ride for the night. A walkout. Main Street stays open. About an hour later, usually. Oh, wow. I want to show you. Watch this. Isn't that cool? Is it lag? Looks like we're good. I'll turn it down a little bit. I may have to airplane mode. Okay, I'm good now. I may have to airplane mode to get my signal back. I had the I had the bit rate too high. The mosaics are so cool. What they say it took them like three years to do this. I mean, just such works of art. Doesn't that look cool to see the tree through there? All right, we only have six minutes, but we gotta get our obligatory castle turnaround view here. Ready? Bam, one of my favorite views of the castle. Yeah. All right, well, let's go. We have six minutes. Let me, uh, I feel like my gimbal's confused. It's a little crooked. Let me turn it off and ungimbal and re -gimbal. There we go. What days do you live stream? We live stream every Friday, pretty much. Uh, and then we live stream um, a lot of Saturdays and a lot of Tuesdays, and Jenna does throughout the week. So we do quite a bit. I don't think it's that hard. Most people leave on their own. I don't think house members have to say anything to the majority of people. 
from what I understand, though, if people do stay too long, they really will just walk up and very politely say, um, you know, good evening, folks. Uh, just want to let you know the park's closed, so I, we need you to start making your way to the exit, pretty much. It's that, that's how they'll say it. You know, they say it, they say it politely, but they do say, you know, we are closed, and it is time for you to start making your way to the exit. They don't just, like, you know, they don't yell at anybody or say, get out now, or anything like that. They're pretty, they're pretty chill about it, but <laughs> probably less chill than when Walmart used to close. I remember uh, Walmart Target, some of those stores, they get pretty uh, aggressive about getting people out of there sometimes. Like I was trying not to stay late, but I remember running in there at the last minute for something. <clears throat> and there was a lady that couldn't decide what she wanted. I already had what I wanted and I was in line at the register, but this lady was kind of across the way and there were a cast member, the, um, the store, clerk was really getting on her like man you have to make a selection and and finalize your purchase and it was like a whole thing anyway random all right we have six minutes we got this So weird how tilted the phone is right now. Let me try something here. Hold on, guys, just a second. Oh, I see. All right, let me get in Starbucks before it closes. You want it? Any line? Yay! Yay! All right, I do usually switch to Wi-Fi in here because it's a little wonky sometimes. Nice one, so, you got it? Yeah. All right, thanks for being with me, guys. It's been super fun. Hello. Good. How are you? Good. Just the Coke, and then I'd like a chocolate chip cookie. Warm in the oven. Uh, yes, please. And your first name? Josh. Okay, I'm going to use a Disney Rewards card. Thank you. Cookie acquired, guys. Well, almost, almost. He times it out so perfect. I try, I try. Look, it's the world. <laughs> oh, it's funny seeing the Mercator projection where Greenland's bigger than like South America. <laughs> so funny. The Greenland is on this on this part of the map. Green, Greenland is almost the size of uh, Africa. <laughs> Too funny. Dan Ray, two dollars. You're the best. Thank you so much, Dan. I appreciate it. It's flat. I know, right? <laughs> oh my gosh. Let's not get into that. <laughs> I've never actually met anybody that thinks that, that the that thinks the world is flat. Anyway, sorry, I don't wanna is that really controversial though? It just seems so dumb. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> I don't feel like it's that controversial. I've just never met a real person who thinks that. Okay, so I don't know why the gimbal's grumpy. I may need to I may need to go ahead and uh, calibrate it. Sometimes it gets uncalibrated when I'm too rough on it. <laughs> I would wonder if they took somebody like that believes that up in, you know, because they've got flights now. You can go, like, if you have like $400,000, you can fly into space. Enough to see the Earth curve. Like, you, you go up like 100 kilometers where you can see the curve of the Earth. So what would somebody like that say if they saw it with their own eyes? I don't know. All right. Thank you. Don't open that can of words. Yeah, I'm sorry. 
I don't usually don't talk about like controversial things, but I don't even feel like that's controversial. It's just like, thank you. <clears throat> that's just kind of like scientific fact. <clears throat> All right. <laughs> David says he just lost two subscribers. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, David. I think people are just trolling, honestly, on that. So, uh, let's see. If I have 400,000, I'm not going to space. I'm going to Disney World. I love that. Maybe the Earth is box-shaped. Cardboard box says. I could be wrong. Well, according to my YouTube studio, I didn't lose any subscribers. <laughs> uh, okay, anyway. So funny. I walked right into that too because it was like literally like a flat map there. That really does look like Santa. Wow. That's pretty awesome. There used to be a guy that would ride around here in a scooter. Maybe that's him. I don't think so though. Um, that would that would take pictures with the kids if they wanted because he looked like Santa. Twenty new copyright claims. Yeah, probably. One of these days, YouTube is going to try and copyright claim my voice because they're going to say they heard my voice. Joan. Joan. Gotta say hi. Sorry, I'm live, so I won't show it on the screen. But hi, hi Josh. <laughs> hi, Resort TV One. That's awesome. Happy day, uh, weekend of Thanksgiving. <laughs> Been a good break. How about you? <laughs> we're not relaxing today. No, we were. Epcot here. Oh, you went hard. Going back to Epcot. Wow. Yes. My sister to the airport in the Have fun. I'll we'll see you Monday. Oh, hi. So I was like, is somebody saying my name? It was, it was soft. <laughs> oh, you're good. You're good. Good. Nice to meet you. Oh, well, thank you. No, the thought that counts. <laughs> Oh, I appreciate it. Yeah, you guys too. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Saw one of my colleagues and then a resort hopper just now. I try not to put my colleagues on the stream, of course. I call him Scoots. Oh, he's got a name? Like, I mean, he's got like a, sorry. Of course he's got a name. He's got a nickname. That's cool. <laughs> oh, guys. The that my ability to make sense is going away quickly. So maybe I should end the stream. <laughs> In the last few minutes we talked about Flat Earth, this random Santa Claus guy, and I don't know what else. Of course he has a name, his name is Chris Kringle, <laughs> right? You know what, speaking of Santa Claus, I, I love the Tim Allen movies, of course, everybody does, but I really like that Santa Claus the movie the original one, the one that came out like through kind of like McDonald's had a partnership with them. Um, Cause they actually had McDonald's like in the movie, but uh, that's just a, such a great movie. The way they reveal Santa in that movie and the way that he gets to the North pole and the way that they reveal the, the chief, the elder elf and how he talks about the prophecy and all, I don't know. It's just really well done. Like it's a beautiful movie. There's so many good classic movies like that. But that one is probably one of the very best. I'll be clocking out soon. Yeah, is Elvis still alive? Oh no. <laughs> oh yeah, Tanina for sure. Are you able to dress up as a character and walk around the park? You can dress up, but you cannot, if you're an adult, you cannot wear a mask. Um, I believe kids can wear masks to the parties, but adults can't. So you guys know that movie? Yes, I have been on Tron multiple times, and Mara is correct. And there are videos on the channel of it. Yep, there sure are. Actually, I have one, I have one video of it in daytime, one at nighttime, and then one for a Mar Media event with a uh, selfie cam version or a face cam version of it 
<clears throat> was super fun. The Santa Claus, right? Yep, that's one of my favorite movies. Yeah, we thought Claus had an E for a long time. Yeah, well, and that, I think that's the Tim Allen one, but Santa Claus, the movie, was made back in the 80s. Um, John Lithgow was the bad guy on that one. BZ Toys and all that. Anybody know what I'm talking about? Such a great movie. Look it up. I don't know what streaming platform it's on. Tammy, it's so nice to meet you. Oh, my goodness. I'm sorry, I didn't... I didn't um, didn't hear you at first, but I'm still glad to meet you, Tammy, and totally fine if you guys find me and you don't want to be on the stream, yep, totally just let me know. Santa Claus is amazing for those and so many other reasons. This series has great depth. It does, for sure. Wait, is there a series? Did I miss that? I know there was a series. There was a series. I totally forgot about that. I only remember the first one half the time. Fred Claus is underrated. I remember that one. Patch the Elf. Yes, it was, uh, what's his name? Um, uh... Oh, the guy who, I lost it, Dudley Moore, Dudley Moore was Patch, right? Lithgow had this crazy laugh, he was using this, he used like reindeer flight, flight um, magic reindeer flight powder to make candy canes that would make kids fly. Uh, or anybody who ate the candy canes fly like a reindeer. And uh, so they're trying to do an escape, and he's like, he's like cackling. And his laugh was so funny. I know the movie I prefer The Night They Save Christmas. That's a good one, too. Although that one when I was a kid would really get on my nerves because it, like, just. Because they, you know, they don't believe, they don't believe, like, the dad, does, the dad doesn't believe the kid or the mom or whoever else was trying to tell him. It, he doesn't believe him, and it's like it go, that that not believing goes on for so long that it like as a kid that really frustrated me. Like why don't you, why aren't you listening? <laughs> you know. So I don't know, but yes, it is a good movie in the end. Thrilling attraction, probably for me. I mean, here at Disney, probably uh, Mission Space and Guardians are probably the most thrilling rock and roller coaster, I guess. And Tron's pretty thrilling too. I'm trying to think what else. As far as the most thrilling I've ever been on is Top Thrill Dragster. The villain Lithgow from Cliffhanger. I haven't seen that one. Dudley Moore is Patch. Okay, good. Mr. Lebowski is the Santa Claus in that movie. Really? The reindeer and the original Santa Claus are a little creepy though. I don't know. I thought they were cute. <clears throat> There's no Rudolph in that one, of course. Uh, you know, it's Donner and Blitzen and all those, all the, all the, the other reindeer. No olive either. No olive the other reindeer. <laughs> Christmas Story. You know, I never liked Christmas Story just because it was very... Was it, I don't know. I like National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation because it is funny. A lot of people like the humor of Christmas Story. I just... My parents didn't like it either. So they wouldn't really... When we were younger, they wouldn't let us, let us watch it. I don't know. Some reason we watched National Lampoon's probably because it was on TV. But we never watched Christmas Story on TV. Either way. That one always just was depressing to me, and I don't know why. Because it was kind of like the opposite of... Oh, it was the opposite of a warm and fuzzy Christmas. <laughs> oh, here, let me turn the Wi-Fi off. Hold on. It's going to lag for a second. Yeah, it's back now. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. I hope you guys have had an awesome, fun time on the stream. I know I have. But yeah, some people really do like Christmas Story a lot. I know David said he liked it. Wonderful Life is good, actually. That one, that one really. Although I will say Wonderful Life is good, but it goes way downhill. Like it goes way further than you think a Christmas movie would. It's good though. It's good. Yes, uh, Carrie, I've seen those for sure. Yeah, give me Christmas vacation anytime, even more if Stacey's joining. <laughs> I don't like Christmas story, my husband loves it. Yeah, it's just everybody's different. Arthur Christmas, I don't know that one. You know you know another really good one that is not probably as well known is The Christmas Card. It's a Hallmark movie. I'm not a huge Steph loves Hallmark movies. I, I don't dislike them, I just 
I always annoy her because we'll watch it and like five minutes in, I'm like, okay, this is what's going to happen. And I'm usually right. And, you know, so because you can just tell, right? Because there's formulaic. But the Christmas card is a really good one. And it's got, you know, it's got uh, some aspects about veterans in there. And it's just really well done. Miracle on 34th Street. I, you know, I don't know that one. I know the movie, but I don't, I don't think I've seen it, but maybe once. So I, I can't remember it very well. I have the Christmas card. It's so fun. One Magic Christmas. Uh, well, I probably should let you guys go here in a minute. I, I have the cookie, and I can't really eat it right now. I guess I could sit and eat it. You guys want to do that? You guys want to, like, hang out and sit and eat a cookie with me? I mean, people are still leaving, so we might as well. Let's do it. Let's go get a table real quick. I'd say that cat used up all his lives. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. There's so many great lines from some of these Christmas movies. It's kind of rem Prep and Landing is actually really good. You know, for a movie that's a quote unquote kids movie, it's got a good story. It's well done. We love the movie Claws. I don't remember that one. The Christmas Shoes. Yes, The Christmas Shoes is a good one. I've seen that one. I'm trying to think of some of the other ones that are really good. You know, The Christmas Carol with Kelsey Grammer is actually really good too. It's got a really, a couple really beautiful songs in it. <laughs> and Muppet, uh, of course, Muppet Christmas Carol is so good. Like the lamp, not the rat. <laughs> yes, Onyx uh, Blue Nose, yes, for sure. One of the best. Leaf says vacation, yep. Rankin Bass stuff is really good, yes, I agree. The original Rudolph, the original like, Frosty the Snowman, when the little magician goes around and he's like, I gotta get writing letters, busy, busy, busy. Like the evil magician who almost um, does away with Frosty. <laughs> Is your house on fire, clock? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we were talking about that last night. When did you move to Florida, clock? <laughs> Is Rusty still in the Navy? <laughs> Charlie Brown Christmas. Yeah, that's probably my all-time favorite. And actually, the Charlie Brown uh, Great Pumpkin and Thanksgiving, those are really good, too. They really, really are. I mean, how... The music, I think, was... I mean, the animation is gorgeous in those Charlie Brown movies, but the music is so good. Vince Guaraldi, like, literally... Without the music, I don't know if those movies would have been as successful as they are. All right. You'll see a little bit of the castle. I wish there were tables that had a better direct view of the castle, but oh well. Did I break wind? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Polar Express, a live action one? Yeah, they could. There's a lot of special effects they'd have to deal with, though. That they don't have to worry about in animation, obviously. Polar Express is good. It's very magical, I will say. Steph. Oh, Steph went to bed. She already texted me. <laughs> I love Josh. How you always make us feel like we're right there with you. Truly feel like our extended family. Oh, thank you so much, Carol. They have the soundtrack here on YouTube, and I had it on while cleaning earlier. Yes. I was watching. There's a guy. Uh, obviously, he doesn't know who I am because he's way bigger than, I, than we are. But uh, there's a guy named Charles Cornell that does these, like, breakdowns of different songs. He's a piano guy. And he did a breakdown just on Thanksgiving of... The Great Pumpkin Waltz, and then took talked about how all the chords were so advanced and stuff. It was neat. I really enjoyed watching. It was great. Highly recommended. Hey, David. Two bottles of wine and oh, David, that's all good, man. White Christmas is so good. I didn't see White Christmas till I was like much older. I was out of I was out of high school by the time not out of high school. Sorry, I was out of college by the time I by the time I saw White Christmas for the first time. Die hard. Too funny. Jelly of the Month Club, yep. I watch the Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas parade specials every year. The music is very special. It is. What's crazy, too, about the Halloween one, watch the beginning of the, the Great Pumpkin at Charlie Brown movie. The, the, 
the artwork in the beginning with the fall colors, it's absolutely gorgeous. Like, and I love how they got it. If you've got Apple Plus, Apple TV Plus, so you can watch it on there. Or if you've got the DVDs like I do, either way. But they've got it kind of restored. They remastered it for Apple Music or for Apple TV Plus. And the animation, the Christmas one is, is beautiful too. But the colors on that for the uh, Halloween one are just gorgeous. I'm watching Top Gun after I finish Top Gun Maverick. Nice. Wonderful Life, yeah. We don't watch Wonderful Life as much just because it, you know, Steph, it's a little bit much, I think, for her. I watched Elf on TBS for 24 hours. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Blockhead, yeah. I always hoped that Charlie Brown would one day kick the football, but um, he didn't. <laughs> Christmas shoes is forbidden. Too sad. Yeah, of course. Nightmare Before Christmas. Yeah, of course. They're working on a prequel of Polar Express. Nice. Home Alone's good too. Like it's a movie that it starts out kind of like, oh, here's this obnoxious kid, blah blah blah. His whole family's obnoxious. Nobody like you know. But then at the it has a lot of heart in it. Eventually, we did a concert, John Williams concert, and had Home Alone. I had the, while I was conducting, I had the image of the Home Alone house with snow falling in front of it while I was conducting. It was really cool. Cookie time. <laughs> Rudolph on Monday night. Nice. Spoiler alert, yeah. <laughs> I'd hope people know what it is now. Jingle All the Way is fun. Oh, it's Schwarzenegger. The Burgermeister. Oh, yeah, David, that makes sense. I remember that one. Charlie Brown kicks the football. Wait, when does he kick it? Is there a time when he actually got to kick it? I thought Charles Schultz said he never would get to. Little drummer boy's good. Oh, that's interesting, Kimberly. <laughs> Hans Gruber, I guess, from uh, Die Hard. Yeah, Carrie, I'll... I'll I'll break off a piece for everybody. Yeah, I saw the little float for the Wonka movie at the Macy's Parade. It looked okay. I'll be cautiously optimistic, but man, it's hard to top the original. Oh, David, thanks for the thought. Yeah, they, those may not make it to Florida intact. Just like I probably couldn't send a cookie up there. Oh, it might be on a cookie might be easier to make it up there. It might be kind of might be kind of stale though. <laughs> Good night, Jay. Jay says, not many lags tonight. Thanks. Santa Claus captures the conquers the Martins Martians. Mystery Science 3000. That's a fun, fun show. Huge Willy Wonka and Chocolate Factory fan. Yeah. Gene Wilder is just so good. Yes, it is a chocolate chip cookie. Oh, that's awesome, Zach. Wow, Bit Ritz likes the remake better. I don't know, man. Gene Wilder. So good. Hey. Disney friend, that's awesome. We'll see you here. 
My cookie smells great. <laughs> wow, do we finally get the smell of vision working? That's cool. I have cookie on my face now, so you guys can look forward to that when I'm in selfie mode. <laughs> Elf versus Santa Claus. You gotta go with Santa Claus just because we watched it more growing up. It doesn't have to be better. That's that's a good that's a good take, John. I like that. That's a good take. It doesn't have to be better. It just has to be different. Yeah, Jay, good, good question. Who did who did clean the ceiling in the fizzy lifting drink room? Indeed. I'm honestly not as big of a fan of Elf, and I like Will Ferrell. I just, I don't know. In that context, it was just like a little bit much for me, but again, that's just personal opinion. I know it's a good movie. Just not my favorite. Yeah, I like Johnny Depp. I just didn't like Johnny Depp as Willy Wonka. White Christmas. Yeah, Denise, we just mentioned that earlier. One of my favorites, too. That's a very iconic, honestly, the, my favorite part about White Christmas is just seeing all the jazz clubs and all the music. <clears throat> I mean, what an all-star cast, you know? Danny Kaye, Rosemary Clooney. Of course, Bing Crosby, and what was the other lady's name? Um, I can't think of her name. The, um, the one who was more of a dancer. You guys know uh, Rosemary Clooney sung both parts. Because the other lady, I don't know why they didn't want her to sing. I guess she didn't have as good of a voice, or, or maybe she just didn't want to sing. I don't know. But Rosemary Clooney sung both female voice parts there. Okay, Amy says too much. Oh, that was a weird comment. Okay, here we go. Vera, thank you, Vera Ellen. Yes. She is an amazing dancer. I, just, I wonder if she could have been coached up to sing. <clears throat> Jim Carrey, Scary as the Grinch. I can't remember. She couldn't sing and Rosemary couldn't dance. She really couldn't sing. I always feel like somebody, everybody can always be coached to sing, but maybe not in the time they had. I believe Rosemary is George's aunt, yes. She sings one line with her at the train station. I figured she they wanted to sing in the little snow, 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 snow when they build that seventh chord. Josh, I love your streams. I hope Jenna feels better soon. Thanks, Kristen. By the way, it's hard to see, but some of you guys have the little uh, blue backgrounds on your um, on your badges now because you've been a member for a month. Those badges will change color every month. Uh, when is the Night of Hope? A Magical Night of Hope. Just go to MagicalNightofHope.com. I'll tell you all the information about it. But uh, it's on December 9th, Saturday, December 9th, and it's not on this channel. It'll be on Corey Meets World channel. I'll let you guys know the link when I have it. I like the song Snow, too. It's just very upbeat. <clears throat> but also... Like when they're in that club in Florida, and it's like half outside, half inside, like or mostly outside actually. I don't know, whatever it was. I'm like, where's that place? I want to go there.
the Abraham Veer Ellen, yeah. It was, yeah, she was definitely in fantastic shape in that movie, for sure. If you pay attention, you can hear the difference. Yeah, James, you're right. I'm going to pay attention next time. I did notice the one time that you can hear that it's Rosemary Clooney's voice both times, because she's got a... She's got a... She's got a depth to her voice. Like, it's a... It's very... It's, it's a warm quality to it uh, that a lot of, you know, just a lot of female singers don't have quite the same. It's very unique to her voice. <clears throat> she and, It's interesting because she and, she and Bing Crosby have very distinctive voices. The other thing that ever bothers me is that you read, every once in a while you read stories about how Bing Crosby was kind of a pain to work with, but I guess he was just really, really good. You know, none of us are perfect, I guess, but... I'm sure I'm a pain to work with most of the time. <laughs> uh. Yeah, George is Rosemary's nephew, yep. One month for me, awesome. The club is cool, but I just want the perfect weather. Yeah, for sure. I don't know. It's just, I don't know why, but that scene with the club, just really, even the carousel club, when he goes to try and get her back um, in New York, just seeing all those places, it's like, wow. You know, that those places actually used to really exist. It's just kind of mind blowing to me. Yeah, she had a very rich voice. I think that's a good way to describe it. Ella, Ella, thank you so much that you're a cool dude. You know a lot. My dad worked for Irving Ber Berlin. He met everyone who was in the, anyone in the music industry. Wow, that is cool, Ella. How cool is that? Irving Berlin. Oh, well, like, yeah. <laughs> I mean, legend right there. Holiday Inn is another really good one, yes. They don't do the Kiss Goodnight anymore, no. Very layered and rich. Rare for a lady to have that kind of timbre. It really was. The dressing room scenes is one of the finest comedy scenes ever filmed, yeah, for sure. Well, and the sisters act, because neither uh, Bing or uh, Danny Kay could, neither Bing or Danny Kay could keep a straight face during it. <laughs> oh, you're good. You're doing a great job. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Yeah, they were so funny during that. Like, literally, so they could not get a take with those guys on a straight face because they couldn't do it. It was so funny. When Queen Elizabeth II came to the set, they had just wrapped the movie, and Bing left because he didn't want to do the ending again. So his voice played, but he wasn't there. That's too bad. Yeah... You know, I don't know. I think people sometimes that are that brilliant at what they do sometimes do tend to be harder to work with. I mean, uh, Mozart obviously, you know, more, you know, a couple hundred years before that was notoriously difficult to work with. Uh, so, yeah, you know, wow. Playing up there. Supper clubs are a lost era. They are. Yes, Bing and Rosemary definitely had a big uh, age difference there. Ooh, Ella Fitzgerald, another icon. All right, guys, we got to go. <clears throat> you guys have a good night. You as well. Get home safely. You too. He left to play golf. Uh, you know, I mean, it's hard work. I, you know, you, you can't fault him, I guess. It's too bad. I've read that even from his kids that said he was just very difficult to deal with. But, like I said, you know, that's just how some people are, I guess. But we can always enjoy the music. It's always good to separate the art from the artist. So I would say, you know, there was a discussion a long time ago about, um, or not too long ago, about um, some one of the band composers having some, you know, not so great things in his past. Um, uh, Percy Granger just having some weird things in his past. And um, not so savory things, and and it's like, you know, one of the things we talked about in the thread about it was like, well, if you you're looking for perfection, you're never going to enjoy anything. So you have to kind of take the art and the artist separately. Otherwise, you'd never be able to watch any TV or movies because you're 
looking at a bunch of imperfect people, including all the rest of us. We're all imperfect. You have to see it, Miracle on 34th Street. Okay. I, I, I know I've seen it. It's just been a long, like I was a kid. It's been a long time. Difficult artists make great art. It is, you know, it is true. And part of it is the perfectionist nature, too, I think of it. Can't wait to see Bradley Cooper's Leonard Bernstein. That's going to be cool, honestly. And I think he'll do a good job with it. I think a lot of these actors, especially that are more seasoned, they understand, like when they're portraying somebody like Leonard Bernstein or when Tom Hanks portrayed Walt Disney, all these, you know, when uh, all these very, you know, Ashton Kutcher portrayed Steve Jobs. When you're portraying somebody so well known, you have to take it very, very seriously. And they do. Not everybody. Never know if someone ex holds a grudge or exaggerates or makes up stories. That's true. Exactly. You really don't know. Like, we weren't there. Yeah, we'll never know. So, it's best just to enjoy it and not think too hard about it. Thanks, Mr. Carrie Small. We always try and have an interesting conversation here. And again, we never are trying to upset or offend anybody. I'm just giving my thoughts on some things. Nothing too, nothing too serious. Because at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter if Ben Crosby was difficult to work with or not because, you know, we can still enjoy the movies. Oh, thanks, Ella. I try. I don't know everything. I just know some things. <laughs> Good night, Dan P. Appreciate you. Thanks, Jay. Jay, let's check out the windows before we go. I'm going to stay out of the picture here. There we go. They were having a great picture moment there. All right, now I can get back in the street. I'm telling you guys, one of the most beautiful places in the world at Christmas, right here. Doesn't get much better than this. <clears throat> now let's go over here and see the windows. We'll do them backwards. Just so I don't want to walk all the way over there and back. Just know that it ends happy. <laughs> oh, here we go. <clears throat> Thanks, guys. Is this the is this the version of Christmas Waltz that restarts? Let's see if it goes. This is Christmas Waltz, but sometimes sometimes it stops right in the middle. No, I think it's good. Many thanks for all you do. Have a good night. Thanks, Ella. No, this is the one that actually plays the whole Christmas wall. It's so beautiful. I'll just be quiet for a second.
Alright, <clears throat> I'll read the books at the bottom. Sorry, I didn't I didn't see your comment in time. There you go, guys. So, thank you so much for joining me tonight. David said my Christmas ambiance video was featured prominently throughout his evening. That's nice. That's the one that that's the one that almost gave us a, a community guideline strike. No, I'm just kidding. I mean it did actually almost, but um, I'm glad that it was enjoyed. So I was gonna take that down um, because I was gonna put up the live stream instead. And then uh, yeah, that didn't work out for us. But that's okay. I'm David. I'm glad that it's still up. I may make a longer version of it. Maybe with different music. Have fun with your bro fam next week. Yes. See you when we see you. I'll be live on Tuesday for Tranquil Tuesday. And then we will not have Saturday Night Live this week because my brother will be here and he lives very far away. Well, out of the country, I guess I could say. <laughs> he does not live in the United States, so he is coming for a few days. I'm so excited to see him, and uh, we are going to hang out and probably play some video games, because that's what we do. <laughs> so it's good stuff, guys. He's, he's a Disney fan, too. Not as big as we are, but he does like Disney as well. So anyway, like I said, everybody always thinks it's funny because we never talk about him. He just doesn't really, he's very, he's kind of a private person. He doesn't want to be on the stream or doesn't really even want us to say too much about it, about him, but... Um, but we have a great relationship with him, so it's not an issue of not an issue of having any is, any problems. But we're excited to spend a ton of time with him next week. It'll be the longest we've seen him by himself for a long time. I love Trans Siberian Orchestra Emmy, so good. All right, so we're gonna go say good night, everybody. Yeah, Eddie, sorry for your loss. Hello, VI360. These are the highest quality live streams. I, we try, for sure. <clears throat> Alright, I'm going to say goodnight, everybody. It's been wonderful to be with all of you tonight. And, we'll see you on Tuesday. Jenna will be live tomorrow at, um, at about 5.30. In fact, I should make her... Let me see if I can make her video live here real quick. Let me switch it back around here real quick. Let's see. Uh, go back. There we go. All right. So, give me just a second, friends. Uh, he's younger. He's younger than both of us. There it goes. All right, so I'm going to make Jenna's stream public right now so you can see it for tomorrow. Should I say it? Good night, everybody. Yes, you should say it. You should say it, David. <laughs> Aunt Bethany. All right, hold on. Let me see if I can get Jenna's stream to load up here. YouTube is really struggling today on the server side. Luckily, it didn't struggle on the stream, but just like loading the console, really struggling tonight. I don't know why. There we go. All right. Let me put Jenna's stream public for tomorrow. Uh, hold on just a second. There we go. It's public now. You're the streamer. Thanks, Goofy. I try. I try, for sure. All right, guys, I am gonna say goodnight now. All right, everybody, well, it's been super fun. And uh, just thanks for hanging out tonight. It's uh, a privilege to stream for you, and it's uh, very much appreciated that you come and hang out with us. and. Spend your time with us. Again, please be sure to check out all the awesome sponsors. Links are in the description. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you for uh, Tranquil Tuesday. And uh, it'll be one of the last times on Tranquil Tuesday. It should be the last Tranquil Tuesday we show Epcot forever, at least until it comes back at some point. Because, you know, we all know it's going to come back, which is cool. I like that. But either way, 
that's it for now. So, um, oh, go make sure you watch the video, Free Play Florida, uh, on, on uh, Retro TV One Tech. Go do that, and also make sure that you check out uh, Jenna's new video. She has a cruise video on Adventures of Jenna Dale. So all the videos, go check them out if you don't want to go to bed yet. <laughs> it's your cat-like jail, oh my goodness. Uh, all, the, all the Christmas vacation quotes. Anyway, thanks for being here tonight, guys. It's been amazing. It's been super fun. And uh, yeah, we'll see you next time. So for now, have a great, big, beautiful tomorrow. Bye-bye. Oh, Mickey. Oh,